Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Rochester Lancers Unique Boutique Arena at the I Family Field here at the Rochester Regional Health Total Sports Experience in East Rochester. It is Rochester Lancers Indoor Soccer MASL 2 action as the Lancers host the Muskegon Risers in the second game of this two-game set. I'm Andrew Batiste. We're doing the play-by-play -play tonight. Rochester Lancers historian and co-host of Soccer is a Kick in the Grass, North America's longest-running soccer radio show. Every Monday at 6.30 on WISL Radio and Soccer is a Kick in the Grass .com. Joined, as always, by Lancers Wall of Famer, former Lancers keeper, current Lancers goalkeeper coach, and the American dream himself, Mark Sotelli. And Mark Lancers coming off a big 7-2 to win yesterday over Muskegon. And what are we looking for tonight? You know, um... Rochester's just going to have to come out strong and hard right off the bat. Um, I think Muskegon's going to have to come at us hard. You know, they, they need to get a win here um, and try to shut down Rochester's uh, momentum. It's their last game of the season, Muskegon, so they have nothing to lose. They don't want to go out in a blaze of glory. Some changes in the Lancers lineup tonight. Matt Sawagid is not listed as playing, and he had two goals and an assist yesterday. Also out of the lineup today is Jonathan Cohen, Alex Vega. But coming into the lineup, we have Darren Toby, one of the best defenders in indoor soccer, and his running mate with the Utica City side, Domenico Vitali. So that means Joey Tavernese, according to the sheet anyway, is going to play up front tonight, and that's dangerous for Muskegon. Yeah, you know, Joey anywhere on the pitch is dangerous, I think. Um, but, yeah, you, you know, Domenico and... Uh, um, Toby coming into the game, that's, uh, you know, a huge asset for us in the back, and then we can move uh, Joey up front, change things up a little bit. And let's not forget Vadim Korchikov, who had two goals yesterday for the Lancers, and he was all over. He had eight shots, and he's a threat from anywhere on the pitch. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's got a cannon, and, you know, you're going to have to watch out for his right foot. Um, he will shoot anywhere as well. And uh, I think that uh, the Lancers just have to keep shutting down Gomez and um, Sonic, and, you know, I think we'll be fine. That's Alex Gomez. He is the number one MSL draft pick from 2022 by Tacoma. Had his first game with the Risers yesterday. He was all over the field. Didn't score, but he controlled much of the game. Lancers did a great job on the leading scorer, Miguel Flores. He had hardly a, a look at goal yes, yesterday. Yeah, absolutely. That's uh, that's actually who I meant to say. But, um, yeah, Flores, shutting Flores down is, is very huge. Um, I, Sonic, you know, which is Miguel, or I mean. Alex Gomez. Alex Gomez. He was shooting from everywhere in the beginning, and then they just shut him down. So as long as we shut those two down, I think we'll be fine. Lancers can move into first place tonight with a victory pending the game tomorrow between the Iowa Demon Hawks and the Iowa Raptors. Demon Hawks could move back into first place if they win tomorrow against the Raptors. And Lancers go to Iowa next weekend for two huge games. Theoretically, Mark, the Lancers could clinch the Northern Division if they win their next three games and get some help from the Raptor, from the Demon Hawks actually beating the Raptors. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and, you know, like I said, we'll go one game at a time. You know, we got to win this game tonight. It's a huge game. It's very important to win at home. Um, and then we'll go on the road, and then we'll worry about those two games. You know, our lineup's going to look a little different on the road as well. Um, you know, like I said, whatever happens today, we have to carry that into, you know, next weekend. And change in goal, actually both teams with changes in goals for tonight's game. Daniel Maddock, the Lancers captain, will play in goal tonight. Jacob Miller Mitchell gets a rest. And Aiden Henchett will start for the Muskegon Rogers in place of Jake Lofgren. I thought he had a really good game. He just didn't get much help from his from his offense. Yeah, I mean, he played really good yesterday. And I could see changing up your keepers, too, though. You know, they have two decent keepers on their team. You know, you put the other one in. You know, the other one's probably tired. You know, it was a rough game yesterday. Um, you know, and then Jacob Mitchell had a great game yesterday. We uh, Daniel Maddock is going to start today, and then we have Alistair Farmer, who's going to have his first appearance as our backup keeper today, which is great for him. He's been playing with the team for as long as I can remember right now. And you may have just seen on the screen there, walking by, Rochester Lancers Wall of Famer, Baltimore Bra Blast Wall, Wall of Famer, USL Wall of Famer, and probably many more that I'm not counting. Pat Ericoli is in the house tonight. We'll hopefully have him on at halftime because we had a big, we have a big announcement. The Lancers have reached an agreement with the Baltimore Blast to be their affiliate in MASL2 starting next season. So that that's huge. Baltimore, of course, one of the legendary franchises in all of indoor soccer. Yeah, Baltimore is an incredible team. Uh, you know, it's great to be a part of that team. 
We also, uh, you know, Pat Erkley is an icon for Rochester. You know, he's been around since, you know, the Lancer, the early Lancers, and then I think he was around with the Flash, too, if I'm not mistaken. But, you know, he's definitely an icon, and, you know, he's definitely a great person. Well, getting ready for the introductions, let's go down to the field level in, in a moment and hear from the one and only Kayla Clark-Kent. Boutique Arena at the Eide Family Field here at the Rochester Regional Health Total Sports Experience. Indoor soccer is back and Lancer Mania is running wild. Tonight's game is featuring the Muskegon Risers in your 2023 Rochester Lancers. Can I get the kids? Can I get the kids, please? I need them out here. No, no, the kids. I need the kids. Please welcome to the field all the kids that are in attendance for tonight's game. Perfect. And now, please welcome to the field, the one and only, Lancer Louie! And here are the officials for tonight's game. Steve Montanino, Kevin Barcy, Lauren Deerman and Dave Wolgast. Wait a minute. I'm going to do a ceremony. Okay, okay, carry on. And now for today's visitors, the Muskegon Risers. Number one, goalkeeper Jake Loughran. Number 25, goalkeeper Aiden Hanchett. Number two, Caesar Alayo. Number three, Ali Mohammed. Number five, Cody Loss. Number six, Braden, Brandon Edwards. Number eight, Ethan Brown. Number nine, Alex Gomez. Number 10, Colin O'Keefe. Number 11, Ali Shawish. Number 13, Daniel Arellano. Number 14, Taylor Pill. Number 16, Braden Texher. Number 17, Steve Merker. Number 28, Miguel Flores. Number 68, Michael Schmidt. The Muskegon Risers are coached by Ryan Wagonmaker and head coach Michael Vollmer. And now, please welcome to the field tonight's honorary captain, former Rhinos legend, Pat Ercoli. Go right to midfield. Yeah, midfield. And now, for your 2023 Rochester Lancers! In goal tonight, your captain, Dan Maddox. Where's Alistair? Number five, he is only 17 and it is his first game as a Lancer, Luca Dodge. Number seven, Jeremy Lanco. Number 13, Eduardo Figuera. Number 14, your captain, Alex Harling. Number 15, Domenico Vitale. Number 16, Frankie Siliberto. Number 18, August Finn. Number 20, Andre Demigiv. 
Number 24, number 22, goalkeeper Alistair Farmer. Number 24, Tanner Bay. Number 25, Vadim Kojikov. Number 26, Conrad Zidowicz. Number 27, Joey Tavernisti. Number 28, Darren Toby. Number 42, your head coach, Jake Schindler. And now let's meet our team staff, head athletic trainer, Brian Dickinson, and our assistant coaches, Ray Boom Boom Martinez, Joey Tavernisti, John Berta Curdy, Mark Mandel, and our goalkeeper coaches, Mark Satilli and Marcella Morera, and your Lancers head coach and Lancer legend, Jake Schindler. Lancer fans, please stand and remove your hats for the singing of the national anthem being performed tonight by Josh Shapiro. job by Josh Shapiro with our, the Star Spangled Banner. And Andrew Batisti and Mark Sotilli back here at the Unique Boutique Arena at the Eide Family Field here at the Rochester Regional House Toll Sports Experience in East Rochester. And on the field is one of the all-time greats of indoor soccer, Pat Erkeley, played five seasons for the Baltimore Blast, also played with the New York Arrows, which were the Rochester Lancers East pretty much in the MISL first season. Teammates with, of course, the late Jim Pollahan, the captain of the Rochester Lancers, who had his celebration of life today down in Harrisburg. I know that all of us are very sad at his passing not too long ago, but we'll always remember Jim and all the great members of the Lancers who have passed away. The one of the Lancers great reporters, Michael Lewis, who covered the team for six years in the North American Soccer League. At his site, frontmoresoccer.com, Mark, he has listed the obituaries that he wrote for 21 former Lancers who has, have passed away over the many years. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's a sad thing. And some people who don't know the Lancers, I mean, the Hollander Stadium was an icon. It was like one of the most beautiful stadiums. Um, you know, it's just sad to, to see, you know, some of the old timers passing away. and. You know, we can only sell our condolences to everybody. Beckenbauer called it a cow pasture or potato patch, but 
Hey, we beat the Cosmos on the on the, on the rare occasion. We did pretty well against them at home. We, yeah. Nobody wanted to play the Lancers at home. Yeah, I don't State. even know who Beckenbauer really is. <laughs> Uh, look him up. He, yeah, I know. He's had a few accolades. I think I've had a. I think I've well, as a kid I had a few pairs of his sneakers at Beckenbauer's. But well, Pat, hopefully we'll talk, join us at halftime. Talk about what's going on in indoor soccer, and of course with the the Rochester Rhinos, our NYFC who ceased operations. I don't know how much you'll be able to tell us due to contractual agreements, but we'll have him on to talk indoor soccer because he's a legend. Played many years and won many championships with the arrows and the blast. Lancers will be in the pink uniforms and the risers tonight in their home gray uniforms. Tavernese up front with Alex Harling. And in the back we have Zitowitz and Tanner Bay at midfield and then Jake Schindler, the captain in defense and in goal, Dan Maddock. And here we go. Ball downfield and immediately Maddock gets his first touch. Yeah, it's pretty important for him to get that touch on too. There goes Harling getting away, and here's the new keeper for Muskegon, Aiden Henchett, gets his first touch as well. First thing I'm going to say here is that the goalkeeper's jersey is a little bit confusing to me, but I guess it's red enough to get away from the pink. It is a little darker. Don't have much black and white anymore in television land. Lancers in control. Darren Toby, former MASL Defender of the Year with the Syracuse Silver Knights now, of course, Utica City. Still with Utica City, as a matter of fact. Yeah, it's good to have Toby here. He's a, definitely a great defender. He's definitely an asset to have. Toby had two assists in the win over the Iowa Demon Hawks, four to two, two weeks ago. And Andre Demidev, we call him Andre the Giant. Not as tall as Andre was, but 6'3", he's big for a soccer player. He's big and he is cut up. He's a great player as well. No need to foul there. He's a little aggressive. There's Ayalo, who had a goal yesterday for the Risers on a penalty shootout. Here's Gomez, He's very good. dangerous. Off to the right. Ayalo shot and a goal. 13.47 mark of the first quarter. And that is the first time the Lancers have been behind at home this season. Yeah, it's just a great pass and a great goal. It was a good finish, upper corner. Not much Dan Maddock can do about that. Here's the scene again. Gomez off to Ayala. And shot up right up off into the corner. So two goals on the weekend for Ayala. And Gomez with his first point as a riser. And it is 1-0 to the visitors. Let's see how the Lancers respond. Again, first time they've been behind at home all season. Turning with the ball is Merker wearing the 17 tonight. Last night he wore 77. Schindler fighting there with Mohammed from Buffalo State, freshman there. Back into the Muskegon half with Schmidt. He's big one too at 6-3. Hanshit forward for Mohammed. Mohammed and his coach, Ali Shawish, now have got one game under their belt. See how much they've learned in the first time around in indoor soccer to tonight's game. Arellano. Muskegon with the ball and back to Hanchett and we're gonna have a... I think it was a pass, pass back, to two passes back to the goalie which is not allowed so it's gonna be a free kick for the Lancers in a very dangerous position. Schindler will come out to take this great chance for the Lancers to equalize here. And so it looks like that wall is a little too close. Let's see if Mr. Montanino, the referee. Yeah, will... Jake, Jake, Jake has to ask for them to distance it. So that's what Jake did. Now they'll have to play on the whistle where before they could play it freely. Schindler passes off and good defense there. Shot in off the post bar. Off the, off the upright actually from Tavernese. Very close for the Lancers. Oh, we got to watch the counter here. Comes the risers. O'Keefe downfield wearing the number 10 tonight. Wore 22 yesterday. And Schindler with a nice defensive play. Plays it back to Bay. Zidowitz up for the captain, Alex Harlan. Loves to play with his back to goal, does Alex. Big body to shield that ball. Yeah, and Alex is a very big body. He doesn't look as big, but he plays huge. Upfield for, speaking of huge, Andre Demidev. The giant. And Toby. Far side for Zidowitz. Toby's another one who's really strong on the ball. He's hard to get off of it. Shot just wide of the mark. 
I mean, that was Zidowitz with the shot from outside. I actually think that was Kojakov. Kojakov with his right, right foot. And he, he'll shoot from anywhere. And he can. Seven he's... goals on the season. Here's August Finn. Did not play yesterday, but he's in the lineup tonight. He's also very dangerous. Gomez going deep to get in the ball. Now playing it up forward. Miguel. There's Flores and it goes to Maddock. Muskegon leads it 1 0. Two minutes, 15 seconds gone, or three minutes, 15 seconds gone in the first quarter. One by Alalo. Gomez. Gomez will hold it up. There's Domenico Vitali on loan from Utica City. He's in the lineup tonight. I just have a lot of de experienced defenders on the team this evening. Yeah, and the good thing about those the experienced defenders that we have, they're more than capable of coming forward and scoring goals. And coming forward right now, looking for Kojikov, but cut out there by Cody Loss, very experienced player in his own right. Back to Hanchett. Hanchett, nice, simple pass to Gomez. Skigan holding the ball. Good possession by the visitors. They're up by a goal. Schindler intercepts. Plays it back downfield. Alayo, he's got the goal. He's got two on the weekend. Had a goal yesterday on the penalty shootout. Risers change it up. Gomez again, marked by Vitali. Mohamed playing it for Flores. Flores trying to make room for a shot, but cut out well by Silberto. Lancers win possession. Alex Harling for Schindler. Schindler cycling around to Maddock. Maddock playing it forward for Harling. Marskegan pressing here, trying to win possession of the ball in the Lancers' half. Domenico Vitali. Back for Schindler. Lancers playing it very cool. Silberto, a nice turn on Gomez. Up for Kojikov. If you that's Tanner Bay, check that. Both have beards, and we're 24 and 25. Yeah, it gets confusing a little bit. They all look similar with the same height. I gotta get my eyes checked. I go next, next month to get my eyes done. Gomez. Oh, after the season. After the season, yes. Plays it off to Taylor Pill, another very experienced player. Had a goal yesterday for the risers on loan from the Milwaukee Wave. Like I said, I mean, the score from yesterday didn't show. The risers were still in the game most of the game, so, I um, mean, you can see they're, they're controlling the ball right now as well. It's absorbing pressure. Downfield is O'Keefe up for Flores, up in the air, into the box. Manchester can't control it. Won by Brandon Edwards. Back for O'Keefe. 9.19 to go in the first quarter. Risers won, Lancers nil. Gomez tries to get by Harling. Harling gets his foot in. Going oh. down to the deck is Kojikov. Doesn't get a call. Here's Harling. Harling tries to break away from Pill. He's surrounded by two. Shot off the wall. And headed away by Brown. And now back for Hanchett. Now they can't back it, pass it back to Hanchett again. Now they can because Kojikov intercepts. Downfield for the Lancers. And Hanchett grabs that pass off the wall from Tavernese. Now Joey's playing the back for this Pretty much the season, Mark. He's got to now adjust to go back to his normal forward position. Well, Joey, Joey plays with Florida, so he's you know he's used to playing both forward and back. So for him to adjust is not much. You know, we do practice. He's either forward sometimes, sometimes he's back. So you know, he, his adjustment won't be much. U.S. Futsal International is Joey Tavernese, Kojikov. I'm gonna come back on here. August Finn. Out, played outdoors and indoors for the Rochester Lancers. And here is the youngster, Luca Dodge, a 17 years old senior at Hilton High School. And that's yeah. going to be a free kick for the Lancers. Luca's been working so hard in practice. I'm so glad to see him out on the field. And now with a free kick opportunity, Schindler will come back out for the set piece. And they're going to say it's. It's definitely a top of the box ball. They're just going to talk about it real quick. They're going to give him the top of the box. Kevin That's where Barcy and Steve Montino, two very experienced referees. Kevin Barcy refereed the Open Cup game the Rhinos had against the Kansas City Wizards at Webster Schrader yeah. back in the day. Kevin Barcy is definitely an icon in the Rochester area as a referee. Schindler. There's the shot. And a, goal. Oh! and a great dummy by Tavernese to Tanner Bay, and he equalizes at one apiece. Uh, Tanner just strikes it right to the far post, lower corner. It was a great goal. 
Beautiful goal by the Lancers, set up by Tavernese's dummy. Yeah, we work at in practice all the time. We have different players on those corners that can shoot it. Tanner Bay is definitely Here it is quality again. goal. Schindler facing the three-man wall. Tavernese lets it go. Bay first time into the far corner. No chance for Hanshaw. Yeah, like I said, we practice it all the time. Sometimes Joey might take it, do something else with it, or he'll do a dummy. They definitely set the play up ahead of time. Bay's fourth goal of the year. Schindler's league team leading eighth assist. A lot of those offset pieces. And we're level at one here at the Unique Boutique Arena. I had family field at the Rochester Regional Health Total Sports Experience in East Rochester and a foul. And it's been, see who's down That's there. That's Jake Schindler. Schindler holding the, holding his ankle or knee. And he's in, he's some, in a lot of pain. He's in distress right now. That's not a good sign for the no, Lancers. No, I've known Jake for a long time, and it's got to be something to keep him down. Let's see what happens here, Schindler. And there's the foul. Ooh, that's a, that's a nasty one. We're, we're going to take a media timeout with 7.46 to go in the first quarter. Lancers 1, Risers 1 on Lancers TV. As if you don't already have enough on your mind, I'm sure you don't want to worry about the stress of car shopping. That's why at Eyed Honda, we don't lure you in with a misleading low payment, only to disappoint you with bad news when you get here and have you find out that there's thousands of dollars hidden down in the fine print. At Eyed Honda, we're upfront right from the start, so your car buying process can be easy, honest, and even fun. So if you're in the market for a vehicle, come visit us at Eyed Honda. We'd love to earn your business. Coach from the bench for a bit. And we're back as Jake Schindler gingerly walking off the field. I'm sure the Lancers have a supply of magic spray on the on the bench, but Yeah, well, hopefully Jake can walk it off. Um, you know, it, it, uh, it, to have not Jake in the lineup, that's uh, it would be huge. Um, let's see if we can get another look at this. Here's the, here's the scene again. It wasn't a late fall, it looks like. It, it, was uh, it looked like he rolled his ankle, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, it could have been a foul, but it, I don't think it's the foul. It looked like Jake rolled his ankle as he was kicking the ball away. So Jake will go to the bench and do his coaching from there. And the good thing is that, Mark, is that Joey Tavernese, who's still with us for this game, can easily move into the back and take Jake's uh, position there. Yeah, I mean, we're definitely deep, but I mean, the, you know, if we have a plan set up where Jake or um, Joey's up front, we don't you know, want to change it around too much, but we definitely have uh, you know enough guys that can. Right, we have Domenico Vitale yeah. and Darren Toby here today. So. Yeah, I mean, it it's definitely kind of hurts, but you know, we, we'll, we'll make adjustments until Jake's ready to come back and uh, we'll be all right. Matches in the corner, fighting for it. Hard to see over there. Harling fighting for it, and it's going to be a foul on Harling. And that's the other thing you're going to find now. I mean, you, you, you injured their captain and their coach, and now you're going to see the Lancers really pick it up, I think. Hanchett coming out of his goal, playing over that third line so he can play deep. And nice catch on the wall by Dan Maddock, Lancers captain in goal tonight, as Jake Mitchell, the leading keeper in the MASL2, gets a breather. Finn shot off the wall. Well, that's tackle from behind. No call there. Kozikov with the shot just wide. Rebound comes off to Pill. Ko it's Demidev on him and Kozikov plays it back for Jeremy Lankowski. We can experience 37 years old. We got a 37 year old and a 17 year old on the Lancers tonight. Yeah, Jeremy's definitely, uh, you know, he, he's 37 years old, but he plays like he's younger. He's definitely an experienced player and he, you know, he deserves to be out there as well. And got a nice defensive play there to clear the ball away from the box. And all the way back to Hanchett. Hanchett again will come over that line. So now he can play all the way deep. He decides to square it. That's a little dangerous by the risers here. But they keep possession. Pill cross for Gomez. Alayo with the goal scorer. 6.22 to go in the first quarter. And that's off the netting. So that should be a shot a free kick from the third line for the Lancers. 1-1 one, one the score. Alayo with the goal at 13:47, assisted by Gomez and 
Tanner Bay off the set piece from Jake Schindler at 8.02. That's in possession with Darren Toby. Going in for Domenico Vitali. And for Lancao, back to Silverto. Silverto to Lancao, and now Darren Toby again. And that's just spreading the field out, trying to make some room. Toby once more. This is exactly what Rochester wants to do. We want to hold the ball, start working the ball, keep their guys on the field. Chance for the Lancers here. What a turn by Eddie. Figueroa with a shot, and it's saved well by Hanchik. Ed Figueroa did not play in the game yesterday as well, so he's fresh. He can go all night long. Yeah, he's fresh and he's hungry, so he's definitely a great player as well, and you, you just saw him turn the guy, and uh, he's just got to finish his chances. Shot up into the netting. And we go throw for the risers. There's that play again. Great play by Addy. Just didn't get enough on it. Goalkeeper still made a great save. Lancers about out shooting the risers. Six to one in this first quarter, but the one shot for the risers has gone into the back of the net. Or say the, it hit the Salvatore sign, actually. You can't say back of the net because there is no net. Yeah, we don't have a net here, but it definitely hit the Salvatore sign. We gotta defend our pizza. That's right. Here's August Finn, marked closely by Mohammed. Answers with the ball. Luka Dodge, a 17-year-old. Guy really got into trouble there, but gets the pass away. Finn upfield. Harling. For everybody that's interested right now, I see Jay Schindler. It looks like they're trying to tape up his ankle. Hopefully he'll make a return. He wants to play, I'm sure. Yeah, he's definitely going to want to play. That's for Kojakov. Kojakov downfield. Kojakov around the goalie, but loses the ball. Plays it back. Shot in. Blocked by Zinowitz. And the Risers trying to break out, but Lanchers get back quickly. What Kojakov had a chance there. Just beat the goalie, but puts the ball a little too far in front of him and could not finish. Yeah, unfortunately, but the goalie did make a great play by coming out. You know, I'm not sure Kochikov, you know, beats him there or he just rips a shot into him because, you know, it, you hit him with a shot and he's not going to want to do that too often. Yeah, you, got, you have experience with that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Like, I, I'm a keeper and, you know, when you come out like that and a guy pegs you with a shot, it hurts and sometimes you second guess yourself the next time. Ball came off Tavernese and hits the superstructure. Joey doesn't seem to think so, but it did. So it'll be a free kick for Muskegon with 3.57 to go here in the first quarter. By the way, the first quarter is brought to you by the Eide Family Dealerships. Visit Eide Honda and Eide Volkswagen. The Lancers ride with Eide. Shot off the boards right wow, across right the across. face of goal by Brandon Edwards. You know was a master at that? It was Greg Howes. He, Greg could, Howes. he knew exactly where to put the ball in that corner to put it right in front of the goal. And Wave scored so many goals that way. Yeah, I mean, for people that don't know who Greg House is, he is an icon as well. Man, he was phenomenal at that. Former Rochester Rhino as well. Down in the corner, fighting forward is Brandon Texture. He's quadruple teamed, and finally Lancers come away with it. O'Keefe gets in the way, and Lancers lose possession. Yeah, I'm not sure Kochikov wasn't being held on the boards there, and it looks like they're, you know, not going to call much happening to him. Lancers on defense here. Brown playing to the far side for Arellano. Good thing is I see Jake standing up right now on the board, so hopefully we'll get to see him come back and make a try for it. Alayo plays to the far side. And now Schmidt. Schmidt's another experienced player. And he's a big body. And oh, he's a shove down, no a, call. No, that's a great play. Figueroa. Figueroa making room, Figueroa backside for Bay, and he'll just play it back as he was surrounded by risers. That's Tavern just easy. great work. Way to listen to your bench, keep it, get them uh, off the field, and now you know, the risers are stuck on the field. Juan Cow in the corner for Harling. Bay's wide open, and Harling couldn't see him. There was, we were still making changes, so we wanted to hold the ball up a little bit more, get Toby on the pitch, and now we'll work the ball around and tire these guys out. Toby in the corner, look count on Silberto off the wall. I don't know if that's Silberto not a goes foul. down, no call. <laughs> Physical game here so far. Down in the corner. Tanner Bay trying for it. Silberto still with the ball, laying it back. Darren Toby, right on him is Flores, leading scorer. 150 to go in the first quarter, one to one. 
Silberto plays it back for Long Cow. Good nice turn. Nice turn by hey, we, same page yeah. there. Wow, what a turn. That I mean, that's just a veteran, 37-year-old veteran move there. Here's Domenico Vitale. And here's, here's the, man. the rookie, Luca Dodge. Harling plays it off the wall to himself. <laughs> True wall pass. Don't, don't think that wasn't planned. Tavernese now playing more in the back with the coach Jake Schindler on the bench. Dodge in the corner, back to Tavernese. Both teams fighting for the ball against the wall. Got to dig it out of there, just Look like at hockey. Luka, he's playing like it's his last game and it's probably not his, not his only game he'll ever play. Senior at well Elm High School. Well done by Kochikov. Kochikov wins the ball, but won back by Cody Loss. I mean, he's a big boy too. For a senior in high school, he is not a small kid. And a beautiful trap by Flores, but no help there. And Maddock with the catch. Downfield, Kojikov loses out. Nice scissor kick there and headed back by Tavern. He's don't see too, that, isn't too many headers in indoor soccer, but there was one there. No, you don't. And uh, I definitely know we saw Zidowicz scored a header on a away game. Yes, he did. Down for Figueroa. Less than a minute to go in the first quarter. Figueroa tries to feed Zidowitz, but nice defensive play by Mohammed. Here's Merker from Utica City. Tavernese getting back as downfield is Ali Schwish, the Buffalo State coach. And actually, what, exactly what you said was going to happen. Jake hasn't returned yet, and Joey has been moved to the back. Yeah, hey, called one right. You got it right, right Seven off the seconds bat. to go. Oh, dangerous pass there, but Lancers get away with it. And that will end the first quarter. And we're at a stalemate after 15 minutes. It's Rochester Lancers one, and the Muskegon Risers one. Goal by Alayo at 13.47 of the first quarter. Neutralized by Tanner Bay's goal at 8.02. We'll give you the shots here in just a moment. Lancers even with the Risers. And if the internet would work, I'll tell you what the stats are. But actually, let's go to a break. Two four with about. We're back in about two minutes here on Lancers TV. 1 1 the score. here at the unique boutique arena at the Eyed Family Field here at the Rochester Regional Total Sports Experience in East Rochester. Andrew Batisti and Mark Sotilli, the American Dream. One to one and Muskegon's come out hard in this first in this first quarter. Mark and played well but they really only just the one they had the one chance and they took advantage of it, but the Lancers have dominated offensively. Yeah I mean uh, you know like I said, you have to finish your chances. They did. I mean, it's a 1-1 game. It doesn't matter how many shots we take. It, 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 if we don't put them in the back of the net, you're going to see this a 1-1 game. Here's the goal for the Lancers. Schindler lays it off. Dummy by Tavernese. Tanner Bay with an easy finish into the far corner. Actually, I shouldn't say it was easy. It was looked easy. <laughs> well, he made it look easy, but I mean, uh, you know, I think the keeper personally could have done a little bit better. Um, I think Joey stepping over the ball threw him off a little bit. I think you're right. That's, that's what the dummy's for, exactly. Yeah. Lancers outshot Muskegon 8-1 to one in the first quarter, but the one shot for Muskegon went into the into the Salvatore side. 
You're ready for the second quarter, which brought to you by Palmer's. Shop Palmer's direct to you market on Jefferson Road. And my cousin Cheryl works for Palmer's, so give her a little plug too. Get Cheryl, she works, she works Cheryl. in the office. Hello, Thanks Cheryl. For, hello, Cheryl, hope you're listening. Here's Darren Toby as the Lancers kick off to start the second quarter. Zitowitz, far side for Toby. If you're just joining us, Jake Schindler went out of the game at about the five minute mark to go in the first quarter with a leg injury. We'll see if he comes back in. Tavernese is back up front again, by the way. The, usually, well, he might have just put him in front for right now. They'll probably see if they can get a quick goal. They have to get ahead here, then they can start to possess the ball. I think they want to get in the lead if they can. Of course, Muskegon wants to get ahead in this game, too. They, this is their last game of the year for the Risers. They really want to go home to Muskegon with a victory, and it'd be a big one. Chance here for the Lancers. Kojikov goes down, and they're not going to call it. And I think that was probably a good call. Yeah, I would say that was a good no call. I mean, so Maddock all the way back to him. So the Lancers at 6-1 and one right now. They have four more games left. Muskegon will end their season tonight. Toby back to Zidowitz. Zidowitz making room for a shot, and they nice save by Hanchett. Great save. We got to follow those shots up. He gave away a yeah, kind of a sitter there. I think it was right on the doorstep, but yeah. nobody for the Lancers there. That's where we need that Italian center forward. We got Silberto for something. Back here for Gomez, the MASL rookie. Shot was wide by Gomez. As a Not far wide, though. There's a bike. Bicycle kick right into the head of some, one of the Lancer players. That's Toby trying to make room as Ayalo. And Toby finally will clear out and does not hit the superstructure. Great play by Darren Toby. That relieves some of the pressures. Lance Muskegon pushing forward, looking for the lead. Gomez upfield for Ayalo, the scorer of the lone goal for Muskegon. These are from Wyoming, Michigan. Downfield. A lot of things I didn't know about Michigan. There's a Rochester, Michigan, too. I didn't know that when I was there. Yes, there is. There's, that's where Rochester Big and Tall is, is based. Very famous uh, Big and Tall store. I shopped there myself. I'm going to have to go there because I've always got uh, shirts that are too short on my arms. You're a big guy, Mark. Down in the corner, Flores. It comes off August Finn, and Lancers take possession. Nice ball for, oh, for, for Demidev. Andre the Giant downfield. One on three, Andre trying to make a for a shot off the wall. Ball bounding around like a pinball. And back to Andre, August Finn. Lancers settle here. 12-15 to go in this first half, one to one. Domenico Vitali cross field as the risers press forward, looking to steal the ball. Lakau playing downfield for Andre Demidev. Demidev shielding the ball well on loss. And that's not a small guy to be with them. Cody lost a big boy. And now Lance is two on one. Alalo looking for Flores shot in and Maddock with the save and he clears it away. Boys didn't get much on that shot and Maddock was right there. And we have a foul called on the risers. It'll be a free kick for the Lancers. Figueroa downfield. Figueroa. Figueroa with the shot. Oh, no! Great awareness from Rochester to notice Figueroa coming off the bench. Ed Figueroa with his third goal of the season at the 11.42 mark. And the Lancers take their first lead of the game at 2-1. to one. Let's see who the assist is going to be on that goal. I didn't see who passed it from the back. We'll check it out here. It looks like Oh, Kojikov. Kojikov. That's a beautiful ball there. That's awareness right there. Figueroa with a beautiful shot, short side. Yeah, that's just a veteran play on Kochikov. I mean, you, you see him coming off the bench and you give him a ball that he can't miss. And he's a veteran. He's played in the St. Louis Ambush for six years. And you, you learn that in the game. When you see a player coming off the bench, you can free him for a one-on-one -on -one chance. Yeah, absolutely. And again, it, it's you don't have to play by a whistle. You can kick a free kick anytime you want unless you're asking for people to step back. I mean, the awareness on him, it's just a complete veteran move. Lancers up two to one on the goal by Figueroa. And then Lancers in possession with August Finn. Cross field for Toby. Again, Risers going all out here. There's no, nothing left to play for for them. They can leave it all in the field tonight, so they're gonna go with everything they have. There's O'Keefe stealing the ball from Harling, but Harling gets it right back. Nice play by Harling. 
Yeah, that's one ball. thing I've noticed about Harling the last two days is that, you know, he, if he loses the ball, he's been quick to win it back, and that is so important again in the indoor game. You want to win the ball as fast as you can. That's right. It's the, the Barcelona style. If you lose the ball, you surround the ball and get it right back and stay in possession. Yeah, I mean, and now, now, and now you got Muskegon stuck on the field still, you know, and, and just now you're going to tire him out, keep the ball. Great Demidev. Looking for some help, gets it from Kojikov. Kojikov is rounded by two players, not surprising. Downfield for Siliberto. Picked up by Brandon Edwards. And Siliberto still with him. Staying not fouling, staying right, right on the ball. Very close to the yeah. penalty area. Uh, and now they're gonna call foul, boy. That's that's one, you know, you you have to call it, but it's the other problem I have there is smart play by Edwards. Frankie right? was working so hard in the corner. You gotta have Frankie's working hard in the corner. You gotta have Demidoff has got a double team there. I know you don't want him out, but they're so deep you can you can recover in time. But if you double team there, he has nowhere to go. And that's a bad mistake by Muskegon. They played a three-line pass, and Kevin Barcy, the referee, was right there to spot it. Now Tavernese will take the free kick with Schindler on the bench. Lynch with a different play here. Tavernese off the glass. O'Keefe tries to clear it. Darren Toby. Toby Still with the ball being chased by Gomez, and he'll play it all the way back to Maddock. In indoor soccer, the goalie's a very important safety valve. That's six players. Tavernese. Tavernese trying to get around his man, wow. does so. Tavernese loses out to Brandon Texier. Now Gomez. Back to Texier. And now Hanchet. Hanchet playing it forward to Brown. Brown. Nice ball in for O'Keefe, but took it a little too far into the corner. O'Keefe still with it. Looking for some help, playing it back. Two to one, Lancers lead it. Pill, cross field for Gomez. Okay, he's pulling all the strings tonight for the Muskegon Risers. He's also a member of Utica. Player goes down for Utica, or for Utica, for Muskegon, no call. Here's Figueroa, scored that lead goal. Tavernese, downfield, shot in, big wow. save by Hanchet with his face on Kojakov. Did he save that or did that go off the defender? I don't know, it looked like it went off a of Hanchet, but either way, Kojakov had an open goal and just shot it right into the player. Oh, wow, that was a cannon too. Whoever took that one is gonna be feeling that one in the morning. <laughs> yes, he will. Get some ice on that oh, one. That's oh, a little push bad there. Bad play, I mean. shot in the goal. I'm surprised they didn't call a push off him. That's Miguel Flores, right? Flores with his first goal this weekend. He's been very quiet. And the Muskegon Risers tie the game two apiece. Yeah, you see that, that play. Again. It was Gomez who played the ball down into the corner. And he just gave the player a shove. And, Matt, and Maddox just got caught and easy yeah. pick away for Flores. Unfortunately for Dan, you know, you're playing against Flores is a very great player, and I think Dan tried to take away the boards from him, and you just got to worry about the rest of the goal. If he goes off the boards, plays it to somebody else, you got to hope your defense is there for you. Lancers looking to get back in, in the lead here if they can, but Muskegon comes away with some. Gomez has both assists now for the risers. There's a chance for Tavernese. Here's that shot by Kojikov. It oh, can't yeah, right, off off, the defender. right off the defender. Ouch. But then, you know, like I said, that's sacrificing, you know, and he, it's a great block. Alayo in the corner. Luca dodged a nice play to clear it out. It's a great turn by Luca to get that out. And now Harling. Harling breaks away. Alex Harling, the captain. Harling! Shot saved by Hanchett. Mm -hmm. Shot, and it comes off of August Finn. It'll be a goal throw. What a play by August, though, to, you know, try to get that deflected. I mean, it, it could have been a possible goal. It certainly could have, but... Hancha keeps the risers equal at two apiece. 7.43 to go in the first half. Oh, that's a top. Yeah, it was out of play. And it'll be a, and we have a media timeout with 7.40 to go here in the first half. And the score, Lancers two and Muskegon so two. I'm not sure they just called that a top of the box. I don't think he. He did call media timeout. No, no, but they called oh. the top of the box, but they. they it went off of the netting up here. Well, I think he was over the line. Well, I think it's going to be a free kick for the Lancers at the top of the D. Yeah, that's great for us. So we'll take a break here on Lancers TV with a score tied. Lancers 2, Rogers 2. Sweet baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. 
CarStuff.com. As if you don't already have enough on your mind, I'm sure you don't want to worry about the stress of car shopping. That's why at Eid Honda, we don't lure you in with a misleading low payment, only to disappoint you with bad news when you get here and have you find out that there's thousands of dollars hidden down in the fine print. At Eid Honda, we're upfront right from the start, so your car buying process can be easy, honest, and even fun. So if you're in the market for a vehicle, come visit us at Eid Honda. We'd love to earn your business. Back on Lancers TV, score tied, two apiece. 4-4 are the shots. Lancers with a free kick opportunity to have an easy over the ball with Jake Schindler on the bench with that in ankle injury. Zinowitz will take the drive and it's just wide of the mark. Rolls all the way back into the Lancers half. Tavernese playing it back for Matic. Now Tavernese again. Ball goes to the open wing. See if Kojakov can run it down. It's won by the risers. And all the way back to Gomez. Gomez upfield. For Loss. Yep, Cody Loss. Loss in the corner. Plays it back for O'Keefe. O'Keefe off the wards and just over across the face of goal. Nobody there for Muskegon to put it away. Risers controlling the play right now. In the corner for Edwards. And back again for Alex Gomez. Call him Sonic. No relation to the fast food chain. But he might re be related to the cartoon character Sonic because Sonic he's just as small and just as fast. And he's got that crazy haircut yeah, too. Yeah, he's, and he's a great kid and he's young too. I think he's only 19. Young players and old players. They had a goal scored by a 57 year old yesterday for the New Mexico runners. Is that well, the coach? Because I think that's the second goal again. Yeah, the coach got in because of lack of players. It's the oldest player to score a goal in any level of the MASL. And shot came actually came off of Toby. Let's see if they catch that. Kevin Barcy making the decision, and it will be the uh, freak a kick in for the risers. We heard that one here in front of us. Flores and it's cleared away by Domenico Vitale to August Finn. And for Tavernese. Zinowitz. Zinowitz up the boards for Andre Demidev. Demidev double team. Nice ball off the wall and nice clearance there by Hanchett out to Domenico Vitale. Tavernese open, he'll take the ball. 5.50 to go in the first half. 2-2 here at the Rochester Lancers Unique Boutique Arena. Demidev on the wall, controlling the ball. Alalo tries to win it. He plays it back for Gomez. Gomez right in front of his goal. He don't want to play with the ball up there. And player goes down, two players go down. Flores plays it up for Brown. Ball's loose and Maddock on his backside grabs it. Maddock will go for the long throw. Keeps it in play, good header away. And here comes the risers, Gomez. Gomez with the shot, saved by Maddock. Lankow playing it back. It's a good shot by Gomez, but you know, Dan Maddock is up for the challenge. Brown plays it forward, Flores. Shot's well wide of the mark. Lankow, nice move around Flores. Up for Kojikov. Vadim had two goals yesterday, seven on the season. Silberto off the wall. Kojikov can't get to it. Shot in. Big save by Hanchet. Lancers still with possession. Lankow headed away. And ball blasted off the wall. Off the netting. That should be a free kick. No free kick. It came off the boards. Good, good call there. Mr. Sotilli, our color commentator, Lancers goalkeeper coach, and the one and only American dream. No disrespect to Dusty Rhodes. No disrespect to Dusty Rhodes. It's a pleasure to be put in the same words with him. But uh, the living American dream. Yes. Here's Luca for Harling. Playing it back. Vitali to dodge again. Back to Vitali. Once again, the risers pressing here. Kojakov gets away from Arellano. Kochikov up the up the wall. Now Brown oh, that's runs right into Dodge high knee, no call. And 
Muskegon with the ball. And I'll go up the wall. Looking for loss. Far side. Trying to group for the shot. Playing it back to Muhammad. Now Arellano again. 340 to go first half. 2-2 Two -two the score. Muhammad down in the corner, playing it back. Ball comes off of Kojikov. Grabbed by Tanner Bay. He plays it around Great right in front save. of goal. And a big save by Dan Maddock. Call, called on there. Here's Dodge. See what Dodge does with it here. The 17-year-old, high school senior. Dodge still with it. Plays the ball into the corner. Manages in control. Harley. Back for Tavernese. Mancers change it up. Zitowitz back to Tavernese again. And now Darren Toby. Down for Andre. And Finn. Now Andre again. Shot in. Stopped by Hanchet. Finn off the wall. That'll be a goal throw. A goal throw. Thought I might have taken a deflection, but referee was right there. 2.51 to go in the first half. It's 2-2 two to two between the Lancers and the Risers. Long ball down, and it'll be right at Maddock. Fortuitous bounce for the Lancers captain. Down in the corner, Schmidt gets it away from August Finn. Now Tavernese fighting with Steve Montanino, the referee. It's great defense by Steve Montanino. Demidev. Nice ball inside. Shot in. Oh, oh what a beautiful goal for the Lancers. August Finn. Demidev to August Finn, and the Lancers go back in front 3 to 2. That was a great work. 2.25 mark of the second quarter. And that's just a brilliant play by Demidev. Beautiful control. Let's look at it again. Here's Demidev. Look at this play here. What a, what a pass. Back heel himself and cuts, cuts it inside to Finn. Far post. And the Lancers ahead 3-2. to two. August Finn directing traffic. And uh, unfortunately for Muskegon, they didn't get to see August Finn yesterday and know how dangerous he is. Um, yeah, good like, to have him back and good to put him on the score sheets. Fourth goal of the season for August Finn. And here a chance here for the Lancers. Kojikov. Kojikov making room. Shot is blocked. Great. And great a nice, another, block. another great play by Muskegon. Look how fast Alex Harling gets Lyle. back. Play up the wall with, with oh, Harling yeah. with a nice play to. Keep it away, now Gomez. Gomez down the corner, Alayo. Alayo is double teamed in the corner. Tries to get away, but Lancers keep things up, but still, that's a handball, no goal there. That'll be disallowed as a handball called on the risers. It's a good finish too, though, even though yes, it, it doesn't was. count. You know, if you're, if you're uh, forward, you always take, take the shot. Yeah, that was definitely a handball. I mean, he barely caught it. It was a nice goal, but it didn't count. And a steal, shot in, saved by Great Maddock. Great save by Dan Maddock. And cleared away, does not touch the superstructure, so Lancers do not give up a free kick there. 1.30 to go, Lancers lead it 3-2 to two on the goal by August Finn. Gomez. Everything going through him tonight. O'Keefe. Skiing, a little possession now, back to Schmidt. Now O'Keefe rolls down in the corner, and Lancers win possession. Muskegon, no, gets it right back. Gomez. Gomez down into the corner. That's not a foul by Vitaly. That was a little embellishment. Well, Vitaly's a pretty decent-sized boy, too. He hits it, you're going to know about it. Well, Finn nearly stole that from Brown. But Muskegon still with it. Brown has it again. Brown with the shot. And just wide of the mark. Shot in again. Shot in again. Wow. Save. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. As you said, three chances for Muskegon. The Lancers shut the door. Figaro tries to get it on off the bench again, but not this time. Gomez with 25 seconds to go in the first half. That's just help defense sacrificing. I mean, that's just great on everybody's part, Ned. Shot in and a goal. Great play by Merker, and it's O'Keefe with the goal. And we're tied at three. Uh, Joey's given uh, Luca a little lecture. I think Luca might have lost his mark on that one. Not sure. We'll have to look at this again and see what happened. Yeah, so Luca's There's here Merker. in the middle. Oh, Luca should be in the back corner. That's not August Finn's man. Luca should be in the back corner, I'm pretty sure. 
So O'Keefe with the goal. And that is his second goal of the season. And Merker's fourth assist. That's going to go into the netting. Not where you want to give up a goal in the last, you know, half, you know, minute. I'd like to go into halftime ahead. Uh, now Muskegon has a little bit more momentum going into halftime. Three to three go score here. 14 seconds to go in the, in the first half. I just want to give up another one here. Harling fighting for the ball. Long ball downfield looking for Elio. Five seconds to go. I just need to hold the ball here and it goes to Maddock and that'll do it for the first half. What I did notice is uh, if you notice towards the end of this, uh, Muskegon's playing a lot of balls to the corner now. They were doing that yesterday as much. They're trying to use their speed, but really with, with this small field, it's very difficult. Well, I think they're also trying to dump it in, win the balls in the corner like they did, and, and see if they can get out of it because, you know, it's hard to break this defense any other way. So you want to turn them towards their goal. So you see Jake Schindler you're talking to Joey Tavernese right next to us. Tavernese with some ice on his ankle. He was injured in the first quarter. The Lancers with a tie game, three to three here at the unique boutique arena at the Eyed Family Field here at the Rochester Regional Health Total Sports Experience in East Rochester. We'll have halftime interviews coming up with Kayla Clark Kent, and then hopefully later on in halftime, we'll be joined by indoor soccer legend Pat Erkley. But now let's go to Kayla Clark Kent on the field. At the half, and I'm Kayla Clark Kent, and I am here with the number five. 17 year old Luca Dodge. Luca, I think you might be the first signed Lancer player at the age of 17. How does it feel to be out here on the field tonight? Oh, it feels amazing. I mean, I make the guys make fun of me. I had to get my parents' signature to be able to play. And I got joshed around a little bit, but it's, it's good fun, and they're a great group of guys. So I talked to your mom a little bit earlier today by email, and she let me know that you used to come to the Lancer games um, years back um, when you were younger. So I think it's pretty cool that you're out here tonight. Um, just an interesting fact. Soccer Sam at the age of 17, he was the best player on his U12 soccer team. Um, I mean, I, I remember watching these guys, Jake, minus a few gray hairs. I mean, when I was little watching the games, and it, it's a blast. And being, being able to play with them, especially him as my coach, it's a great experience. We're so excited to have you a part of the Lancers family. Get in the locker room, and we can't wait to see you back here for the second half. Appreciate it. Thank you. I'm now here with um, Lancers assistant coach Mark Mandel. Mark, it was a close first half, a little different than last night. Let us know what we need to do going into the second half. I think we just need to settle down, especially now with Jake being out for the rest of the game. Um, we've made some changes. Now we just need to settle down play our game, and uh, work hard this half to just get back in the game and finish our opportunities, for sure. All right, thanks, Mark. Get in the locker room. Get those boys riled up. I'm now here with your Lancers honorary captain, per Pat Ercoli. Pat, thank you so much for being here tonight. It's my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Pat, I think it's been about... God, we're in 2023, so about 12 years ago, my first job in sports was interning under your guidance, so it's pretty cool to be here now and have you standing next to me. It is. It's, it's a great pleasure and honor to see people that were part of our organization flourish with other organizations. Well, Pat, so first I would like to just have you tell the fans a little bit about yourself and how many championships have you had? <laughs> I've had a few. Uh, well, I started actually here in uh, 1978 with the Lancers. We played in the North American Soccer League, and at that time we also played uh, indoor soccer. As a matter of fact, uh, the first uh, All-Star game in 1980, I was the MVP for that game. And uh, I received from Bud, Bud Riser uh, two week expenses all paid in uh, Hawaii, and I took my beautiful wife. At the time, she wasn't my wife. but. <laughs> But when we got married, we took advantage of that. And then uh, I went on to come back here when the Rhinos came back and uh, started coaching here. And how many championships did you have with the Rhinos? With the Rhinos, we had five. We had an Open Cup in 99. Uh, we had a championship in 98, 99, oh no, 98, 2000, 2001, and 2015. And you are the only to date 
non-MLS team to win an Open Cup. How does that feel? Well, you know, every year we watch it, I guess we're like Miami. We're look, you know, Miami's always looking every year to make sure that uh, there are no undefeated teams uh, in the NFL, and I'm doing the same thing. Every year we, we kind of look at the Open Cup. Last year, one team came very close to uh, accomplishing that, but they lost in the final. So it's a great accomplishment for our community, a great accomplishment for the players that were part of that team and anybody that was part of that organization. It's a unique situation and I hope it continues. Pat, so not only as a player back in, what did you say, 1978, you were a part of the Lancers, um, but also I think you have some other ties to the Lancers. Your father-in-law, correct me if I'm wrong, was one of the founding owners of the Lancers back in the day. Yeah, he was involved, I think, in 1970, I want to say, with uh, Charlie Shiano, Nuri Sabanko, a, a bunch of different, uh, Polano, Tony Polano, I believe. At the time, I wasn't here, so I didn't know everybody, but uh, they certainly were the uh, foundation of soccer in this community at that time at a professional level. It was difficult because they were coming up against some great players that were world-class players like Pele and Beckenbauer, Cruyff, a lot of big names and uh, you know our community competed with those teams just like I did in the Open Cup and uh, considering the the disparity between uh, those talents and what we had on the field here we held our own I mean they made the playoffs and uh, one of those or two of those years during those years where they had those types of stars in the league. Well, it's so awesome, and to hear your history of soccer, especially here in Rochester, we thank you for all you've done for Rochester soccer in the community. It doesn't go unnoticed, and we're so excited to have you here with us tonight. It's a pleasure, and thank you very much, and thank you for supporting soccer, everyone. Appreciate it. And now here's Andrew Batista and Mark Satilli from Lancers TV with your first half game recap. Thank you, Kayla. Actually, Mark is in with the team right now, trying to get, fire them up for the Second half, Lancers 3-3 three, three with Muskegon. Lancers out shooting Muskegon 20-12, but Muskegon won the second quarter 11-9 on the shots. Eight saves for Dan Maddock in goal in the second quarter. Ten overall, or eight overall, and five overall for Aiden Henchett. So the Lancer, or Lancers and the Muskegon Rangers tied up at three. We're going to take a break. We come back, we'll be joined here at the desk by Mr. Pat Erkley here on Lancers TV. As if you don't already have enough on your mind, I'm sure you don't want to worry about the stress of car shopping. That's why at Eid Honda, we don't lure you in with a misleading low payment, only to disappoint you with bad news when you get here and have you find out that there's thousands of dollars hidden down in the fine print. At Eid Honda, we're up front right from the start, so your car buying process can be easy, honest, and even fun. So if you're in the market for a vehicle, come visit us at Eid Honda. We'd love to earn your business.
Sailors.com. When it's time to eat, make it a meal to remember with Salem's Hot Dogs. The Salem family has been perfecting premium meats for over 150 years with hot dogs that snap, satisfy, and fit your busy schedule. So whether you're catching up, winding down, eating in to save time, or simply hanging out, when it's time to get together, it's time for Salem's Hot Dogs. Find them at your favorite grocery retailer. So we're heading out to the Baja 1000. The last time we were there, you rolled down a mountain. Nice. We rolled down a mountain. But if we do it again, do you guys have anyone that can help us out? Absolutely. The Eyed Collision Center can handle little dings or scratches or full-on accidents of rolling down a mountain. Yeah, we'll get the car looking good as new. The Eyed Collision Center. The Eyed Collision Center on Despatch Drive in East Rochester. From small dings to big repairs, the Eyed Collision Center makes it easy for you, even the phone number. When you collide, call Eyed. Perfect. Lancers TV, Rochester Lancers historian Andrew Batiste, and I'm very happy to be joined by Rochester Lancers Wall of Famer, Baltimore Blast Wall of Famer, USL Wall of Famer, I'm sure I'm missing a few of them, Pat Erkley, the honorary captain, joins me at field side here, I guess, and uh, so we, we've talked so many times yeah. over the years on soccer as a kick in the grass, but this is the first time I think I've interviewed you in person. Yeah, we have uh, we go way back, so that's good, you've been great for the uh, sport as you know your your involvement in it and your knowledge of it that's it's been good for this community you know kayla was talking about luca dodge signing at 17 for that uh, signing by playing here for the lancers but you were a youngster when you came in you and your and your compatriot mr sagoda yeah. was about the same age as luca dodge yeah i mean i i was 19 i had already left home though i was i was playing in montreal so and then that's where popovich discovered me and asked me to come in for a tryout so I think I was 18 going on 19 That's the time. Sagoda came in the next year, and boy, what a season that was, I tell you. But the Lancers were mostly intact in New York City in the first year of the MISL. It was the Lancers East. Popovich was the coach. It must have been nine or ten at least Lancer players on that Arrows team that dominated and won the first MISL championship. Yeah, it was 78. Actually, Houston had a fantastic team, and uh, they they actually all played us at the beginning of the season. They really knew the indoor game. They had some uh, Scandinavian players. Haskovy oh, was there. Kai Haskovy, yeah. And uh, somehow they lost to Philadelphia, and we ended up playing Philadelphia in the final, and we won the championship. Here's a shot of the U.S. Open Cup in 1999. I was there in the stands in Columbus. Actually, there were two, ra two, two radio stations from Rochester were covering that game, and so it was it was amazing. And see Sadie Schweitzer right there in the front, yeah. and something that we'll all remember and cherish for a long, long time. But I'm know, sure they all uh, at at that time of the year, <laughs> they're watching who's in the lower divisions and how far they're getting, and yeah. whether there's an opportunity for somebody else to accomplish the same my, goal. My wife's uncle is from Sacramento, and he, oh, he yeah, was telling me, he's like, "Yeah, you know, they're going Sacramento's going to win the Open Cup." I was like, "No, they're not." <laughs> And Charleston was in the final one year as well. But with beating four MLS teams, it was just, again, amazing. And, you know, I'll always remember what uh, Jason Christ said for the, da the Dallas Burn player about the playing in Rochester. And that sort of fired the team up, I think, in that, in that game. Oh, uh, yeah, there were a couple of things. That, that definitely was one of the things uh, to say that w we wouldn't play the same way on a bigger field. And then we went to Virginia Beach, I think, there in the, in the middle of a storm Hurricane. And, and beat uh, Columbus. Um, and, you know, and I, th I think the league obviously felt that uh, that was the game because Columbus had just opened their stadium and they were hosting the final. And they wanted Columbus in the final against Colorado. But yeah. Didn't turn out that way. All the best laid plans. But so one thing the Lancers announced that they are going to be next year the affiliate of the Baltimore Blast, an organization that you played for for many years. What are your thoughts on that? 
Oh, I think it's great that they, they're starting to look at that and how they can uh, build on that. I think at one time they, they tried doing that with the uh, affiliate team in Baltimore, but maybe it didn't qu quite work out for them. But it's good to be in another community, I think, and that consideration, especially like the Wings had the Orioles at one point, right, and the Red Wings. So, yes, I do. mean, this is a good opportunity for the, the team here to, you know, be able to bring some, some of those players and to contribute and, you know, raise the level of play a little bit. Yeah, Sam has a long, a long history and friendship with Ed Hale, the owner of the Baltimore Blast, and calls him a godfather of indoor soccer. Yeah, he's a great guy. I mean, he's he's done a lot for the sport over the years, and um, you know, he does the uh, All Star uh, game every year and uh, brings in Hall of Famers. And uh, I think it's actually next week. Uh, but we were in last year. I think it was our 40th anniversary. Um, you know, Jim Pollahan was with us, who just passed away, and um, most of the guys that I played with in that '83, '84 championship team. Well, Pat, we appreciate you coming here on Lancers TV to talk about the Lancers and have a good trip to Baltimore. You know, it's not, not just for soccer, it's for, uh, for a, a wedding. wedding, too. Yeah, Vinny, Vinny's uh, son is getting married. That's, yeah. a, that's fantastic. Well, say hello to Vinny and Cheryl and, and Karen for me. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks Pat. for having me. Pat Ercoli, the Lancers Wall of Famer, played for three seasons here with the Lancers, and, of course, an indoor soccer legend. Mark Sotilli will be joining us in just a moment. We're getting ready to start the second half. Lancers, three, and the Muskegon Risers, three. And the question is going to be, will Jake Schindler make an appearance in the second half, or is he done for the day? I mean, Mark Sotilli can give us an update. Mark, what's the latest on Jake? Uh, I think Jake, I really didn't get much updated on him. I know he's not going to play the rest of the game. He's out, you know, he's in, he's in his regular, you know, running shoes. Um, unfortunately, he's got a pretty good limp going. Um, so, you know, we'll, we'll make do without him for right now. It, it hurts, but, you know, we got guys that'll cover up. Well, let's hopefully we'll see Jake be able to play next weekend. Two big road games in Iowa against the Raptors and the Demon Hawks, which could decide who wins the Northern Division. Just the top team in each division and the best fourth place team. Lancers in reasonable position in both of those cases. You've lost just one loss on the season. O'Keefe. We'll give you the latest on the league as soon as we get some some time here. Nice steal by the Lancers. Back heel to Alex Harley. Lancers captain. Now Tanner Bay will cycle it back to Tavern Easy. He's taking that defensive role now with Jake Schindler out of the game. Where he normally plays for the Lancers anyway, so it's not a change, but certainly with the Lancers are down a man now overall in this game, Mark. So that could be a potential point as we move forward. Well, not only are they down a man, um, they're down a key player. Um, you know, a lot of these guys will get very limited time, and with Jake being out, their limited time might be a little bit more, so they got to be prepared to, to give everything they got. Absolutely. And I'm sure the Lancers, they know how important this game is. This will put them into first place in the Northern Division if they can win this game in Actually, if they win in overtime even, they would they would get the first because it's one point behind Demon Hawks. Raptors are right behind there for 14 points, and those two teams play tomorrow in Iowa. Huge game, and the Lancers will be watching that one because they'll play both those teams next weekend, one each, and the Raptors will come here for the final two games in two weeks. And of course, we'll have it right here on Lancers TV. Darren Toby, far side for Siliberto. Father played for the old Rochester Flash in 1984. Second generation. Arlano steals it away for Muskegon. Edwards over to Elio. Elio still with He had the first goal for the Risers, just a minute and change into the first quarter. There's Taylor Pill on loan from Milwaukee Wave. Alayo again, down into the corner, and the back heel won by Figueroa. He has a goal in the game for the Lancers. Playing it back. Lancers looking to build possession here. Darren Toby, former MASL All-Star, ageless Darren Toby, 41 years old. That's what they say, but I don't know if that's true. <laughs> yeah, he might be 45. Yeah, he could be. 
is Harling. And he plays like a 20-year-old, I'll tell you that. And he's strong, and he's, he's just got so much talent. Soccer players are known to embellish their age the wrong direction. Not me, Andrew. I'm old, and I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Harling down in the corner. Back to Zidowitz. Cross field for Kojikov. He's yet to get on the score sheet today from a goal perspective. He didn't have an assist. But they've done a good job on him so far at Muskegon. He's been forced further into the back. And here he is with the ball. So you're watching Kojikov take shots from outside. Believe it or not, I'd like to see Zidowicz do the same thing. He's left-footed. He's got a great shot as well. I've known him for a long time. I'd like to see him take a shot because they're letting him have that opening. He's on the ball right now. Back to August Finn. Now Demidev's got some space here. Playing with his back to goal. Demidev lays it off for Zidowicz. Zidowicz moves to his left. Heaven easy down in the corner. And it comes off the top of the board, and it'll be a goal throw. I, I think believe. it's a corner kick. Heaven easy says it's a corner, but the referee no, they're giving says him a goal no. kick. Yeah, absolutely. I would say, uh, you know, I, I can't tell you. Well, well the referee was not yeah. at the far side of the field, so it was really hard to see that. Yeah, he probably had a better position than I did. No, you know, no, no harm, no foul. Let's just win the ball back. Muhammad gets around. It's a good save. It's around Silberto, but won by the Lancers. There's Alex Harley, the captain, looking to settle. Back to Zidowitz. Tavernese. Lancers change on the fly. Tavernese gets past Gomez. Tavernese in the attacking zone, down in the corner for Tanner Bay. He has a goal in the game today. Back to Kojakov. Down in the corner. And taken away by. O'Keefe. Hill losing out. Answers regain possession. Zidowitz to the bench. Domenico Vitali cross field for Toby. Actually, Harling. Here's Toby near side. He's open if they can find him. So there's a shot in by Kojakov. It's blocked. Harling regains possession. Lancers, Tanner Bay. Bay off the wall. Nobody there for the Lancers. Cleared out to midfield. With Domenico Vitali, 10-15 to go in the third quarter. Still tied at three, no scoring yet in this quarter. Toby back for Vitali, his teammate with Utica. Down in the corner for Bay. Bay, nice pass in front, nobody there. Shot in, oh, we're just, just high uh, by just over the crossbar. Oh, Kochikov had a wide open goal, just put it high. Oh, that was that coach? No, that was Vitali, right? Vitali, I believe, yes. Demidev. Coach Cup trying to make room here. Boy, they were nobody on the wing for the Lancers. I actually had to get up to make sure there wasn't somebody on the wing. That was the pass to nobody. And Demidev touches Mohamed right and he Look goes at down. this. Look at Vitaly. Just misses. Ooh. Just, well, that's right off the goal post right there. The crossbar. Hit the E in the total sports experience. Oh Downfield, Flores, leading scorer, has a goal today. Back for lo loss. And now Pill. Pill back to loss again. Now Gomez. Gomez bothered by Zidowitz, steals the ball, but Zidowitz commits the foul. Free kick immediately taken, and now the referee's gonna say, ball was rolling. Ball was rolling, so they're gonna retake the free kick. You know, Zidowitz is saying it wasn't a foul. I understand you take the ball away, but you, you know, unfortunately it was still a foul. You can win the ball and still foul a player. There's Pill, big shot, if he wants to take it. Back to Gomez. 9.55 to go in the third quarter. Still tied up at three. As the Lancers look to win to take first place in the Northern Division of MASL 2. Muskegon trying to win in their final game of the year. Ball played downfield, three, three line pass, and is called by Steve Montanino. Right there on the line, good positioning. So that'll be a free kick for the Lancers. Well, if, you know, I mean, Joey's complaining to uh, Steve right now about the three lines, but Steve's got to look at his other referee, make sure that he makes the right call before he blows the whistle. We've got to make sure the ball is actually behind yeah, the first absolutely. line. Absolutely. He, he can't see the third line back there, so he just has Coach to make sure. Coach Buck going to rip this. No. Nope. Tavern Easy down in the corner. And Harling. Actually, it's Toby in the Toby, corner. Toby, yep. Couldn't see it very well. Look at how strong it. his foot is on the ball. Hey. That's a big boy kicking the ball, and he just can't get Toby's foot off of it. I mean, it's that's just a, so much strength. It's going to be a drop ball for O'Keefe and Harling. 
And cleared away by O'Keefe back to Kojakov. Kojakov for Tavernese. Good ball. Nice ball to Bay. Bay playing into the corner, looking for Harling, finds him. Harling looking for the cross. Plays it cross field. For Vitali, back to Harling again. Just double team. Great touch by Harling. He's double teamed the corner. Wins Tries to battle. break away. Gets it in front. Shot in. Nice save by Hanchet. As Kojakov was right on the doorstep. Vitali. That's good awareness by their goalkeeper because he came out and he was going to go pick it up and then he just stuck his toe out there. Tavernese fighting for the ball. Loses out. O'Keefe. Back for Edwards. 7.49 to go in the third quarter. Still 3-3. Hanchet comes out as the safety valve. He'll play it up across the third line so he can play it deep. Ball into the corner. Merker. Merker plays it back. Pill. Forward for. Now Merker actually is signed with Utica. Yes, he has. Shawish. Shawish with the shot, saved by Maddock. Bay. It's a loose ball, but taken away. Shot in, and a weak shot. And slapping the ground in disgust is Ali Shawish, the Buff State. That's just a great coach. save by Dan Maddock. <laughs> Breaking away is Pill. And right, shot in, goal! Goal! Frankie Silberto. Tickles the netting, if there was netting. So and That's a bad mistake there. Yeah, the ball was just cleared in front key, by key word there. Key word there is the mistakes. Mistakes are what's going to cost you in this game, I think. Let's see that play again. The ball was just played by Pill. That's very unlike him. And then... Silberto says, thank you very much. Yeah. That's just up four to three. Like I said, we almost just made the same mistake on the other end. They weren't able to capitalize, and then they make a mistake, and we finished our chance. It's uh, what you got to do when, when, when someone's making mistakes. You got to finish those chances. Yes, you do. By the way, the third quarter is brought to you by Salen. Salen's quality hot dogs and prod meat products since 1869. As he promises, we have a little time. Let's tell you what's going on in the league. For the North Division, the Iowa Demon Hawks, have 18 points, the Lancers 17. Lancers have three games in hand on the Demon Hawks, the Raptors of Iowa, and eight games played, 14 points. Again, those two teams are going to play tomorrow. And then the Lancers go to Iowa for the Demon Hawks final game, which will be on the Sunday, the 19th, and the Raptors will play on the 18th. In the Midwest, Amarillo is nine and two on the season. They have one game left, they're 27 points. Wichita is at 17. They play tonight against Colorado. Wichita must win that game or Amarillo will clinch first place. In the West, Chihuahua Savage are at 7-1. They have two games this weekend against Club Deportivo de Baja. If they win both games, they will clinch the West Division. So again, the top team in each division plus the best fourth place team will go to Mesquite, Texas on the weekend of March 31st and April 1 for the final four of MASL2. So we're down to about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven teams fighting for those four spots. Yeah, I mean, seven teams, uh, you know, uh, I'd like to see the Chihuahua Savage 2 play because the, the Chihuahua Savage that's in the MASL is an incredible fast team. I would um, like to see this, the Savage 2 game uh, myself, but like I said, the Lancers come out with this a victory and then maybe a victory or two more. I think we, you know, we'll be safe. Well, Lancers really want to get into the Final Four. They were there the other season in MASL, too. Uh, that was with me. I was on that team. Um, we went to uh, Ontario. And lost a heartbreaker to the Crows of Juarez, 11 to 10. Yeah, that was an overtime victory. Um, Played in a field much like this one, actually. It was very, like, it was a lot like this one. Boy, that was, a, that was a tough loss. I think the Lancers could have given San Diego a run for their money. They went, they went all, they went completely undefeated that whole season to win the championship. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, I think we could have beat San Diego. I think we were a better team. Um, you know, it just the things didn't fall our way. Flores playing it forward, intercepted by Tavernese. Here's Joey, wow. goes down, no call. Yeah, now that's gotta be a call. call. I think he played possession just to make sure there's no advantage. Um, I think it's a good call. Free kick as Steve Montino says, yes it was. Keith says, no it wasn't, but Steve Montino has the whistle. 
Here's the free kick for the Lancers. Tavernese into the netting. That's unusual. That's an unusual poor ball from Tavernese. Lancers. Yeah, I'm not legend. sure. Joey I'm not Tavernese. sure he was actually shooting. To be honest with you, that was so much. Wide. I think he was trying to play the boards and then. I think he was too. Upfield for Flores. Nice ball off the wall. Maddock comes out and knocks well it done. away. Well done by Danny Maddock. Harling. Harling playing it forward. Bay. Bay back for Zidowitz. Now Bay again. On the one, two, off the wall. Up for Toby now. Darren Toby. Toby's still with it. Good possession. Back to Zidowitz. It's good play. Played off the boards to himself. Here's Kojikov. Back to Toby again. And it's a giveaway by Toby. Here comes Flores. Flores with the shot. And Maddock gets a piece of it and holds it up. Because Muhammad was right there on the doorstep. Kochikov playing it back. Toby. That was a dangerous ball. It certainly was. But boy, look at Toby. Toby just, just trickled his way through three guys. What a guy. Oh, my. Downfield. Oh, and Hatchet wow. gets it away. As Demidev was right on the doorstep. Here's Muhammad. Cross field for Gomez. Gomez rips the shot. Saved by Maddock. Upfield. Demidev. As we go back and forth. Finn wants that ball. Oh, my. And Damn it. And here the coach saying, get your head up, it, Andre. It's my namesake, you know. And going down is Gomez, and Zidowitz is called for the foul. Free kick for Muskegon. 5.02 to go in the third quarter. Lancers four, and Muskegon three. Well, I feel bad for Andre. He's getting a mouthful, but that's two bad passes that he's given away, like, to nobody. Never easy. Up for Siliberto, who has the... Go ahead goal for the Lancers on that mistake by Taylor Pill. Nice move by Vitale. Vitale. August Finn. Marked closely by Pill. Trying to get some room. To That's a great forward. ball to Joey. Here comes Tavernese. Down in the corner. Joey fighting for it. Taken away though by Muskegon. They're doing a great job in those corners, digging the ball out. Downfield for Pill. Great awareness for Figueroa. He knew that Joey was stuck up top and he came all the way back. Well done. Absolutely. Edwards. Pill looking for some help. Gets it from Showish. Downfield for Edwards. Down from Merker. Back to Edwards again. Tavernese right there. Playing up the wall and shot by Showish. Is oh well high over the MT side. 4.07 to go in the third quarter. It's Lancers four, Muskegon three in this tightly fought battle here at the unique boutique arena that the Lancers play in at the Total Sports Experience. That's a tough ball to play. O'Keefe, cross field pass. Shot in, wide of the mark. They like that right side does Muskegon, but so far Max up to the task. Toby with a nice move. Toby's still with it. The patience on Toby even to come inside the goal box and take that is, is incredible as well. There's Bay in the corner. Bay still with it. Bay trying to make oh. room here. Good footwork by Tanner Bay, the Webster native. Cross field. Siliberto. Now back to Toby from Trinidad and Tobago. Bay again to Toby. 3.18 to go in the third quarter. 4-3 to the Lancers. Tanner Bay. Lancers, nice ball for Zidowitz. He lets it run as the shot would probably would have been blocked. Ball played back and Hench will clear it. Only as far as Toby. And Bay. Toby goes to the bench. Bay playing it forward. And Zilberto knocks his man down and it's going to be a free kick. Right now, I'm sure Jake's on the bench telling him. Right now, I'm sure Jake's on the bench telling him no matter what it takes, we have to score the next goal. It doesn't matter. You know what happens, but the next goal has to be scored by Rochester. It is Brandon Edwards down, the Muskegon native, getting some treatment. It looked like there was a foul. Maybe a hand came across his face. I mean, it's not a purposely done. You know, it wasn't malicious or anything like that. And the, the coach for Muskegon giving his opinion to Mr. Montanino. Which probably will account for not too much. Uh, it probably better counts. Watch, for, better watch his mouth, or yeah, he's going to get booked. It probably counts for absolutely nothing. Now, if a, if a coach gets a yellow card, is that a is that a 
man advantage. Yeah, no, no, there's no man advantage. They would probably just sit a player for five minutes, you know what I mean? Like, it, it really is no harm, no foul. I mean, uh, and except for the money that'll change hands. Yeah, I mean, there might be some fines and some, you know, whatnots, but. Texier goes down, free kick. Dangerous position for the rep, for the Muskegon Risers. Basically near to a corner kick. Could take a direct shot though. Gomez with a single play with his left foot, just play it back. Yeah, Pill. If Gomez is on top of the ball, he's, he's a left footed player. He's definitely not going to be shooting. Pill with the shot was blocked. Muskegon go with the ball. Pill in the corner, double teamed by Harling and Finn. And Finn goes down. And that's good, should be a blue card. Looks like he got hit, hit in the face. Pill, Finn is holding his head. And Jake Schindler very upset on the Lancers bench. That's actually that's actually Jacob Mitchell you hear on the bench over okay. here. Let's see what let's see what happens here. Let's see if there's an elbow. Oh, they just they, they collided he just hit heads. His head. They bumped heads. It, um, was, it looked like arms and that's I'm it was sure Ethan else. Brown, I believe. It's going to be just a free kick for the Lancers. 2.34 to go in the quarter. 4-3, to three, Lancers lead it. Kozhikov, his header stays in play. Finn playing a lot of boards with O'Keefe, and now foul called. Free kick for Muskegon. They have to move it back, though. That's, uh, that's, that's about, not even where that ball that's was. five yards too far, far forward, but Absolutely. no harm, no foul there as the shot from Gomez was I'm ambitious. You, that if you guys can't tell, that kid has got to be four foot ten with a cannon. Like Carlos Manitieri used to be. Wow. I mean, to, to, even, to even be said it, you know, in the same words with him, it tells you the quality of this kid. Man should be in the U.S. Soccer Hall of Fame. The only player in the history of NASL to win two MVP awards was Carlos Manitieri. Yeah, he's an icon as well. Yeah. Great man, great player. Il Topolino, the little mouse. Zidowitz, far side. Bay back to Siliberto. 150 to go in the third quarter. Lancers looking for some possession here, leading by a goal. And going down is Gomez, and Hench will just pick it up. Hench will just lay it back for Gomez. Wow. That's a little bit wow, unusual wow. there. It's stolen. Here's Siliberto. Shot in, and wow. nice block. Beautiful block by Cody Loss. As Figueroa had a wide open goal and lost, saved the day, but it'll I be the mean, that, first corner of the weekend. If Figueroa scores that goal, that could have been a game changer. What a defensive play by Cody Loss. Look at this. I mean, that's just incredible. Incredible play. Tavern Easy will take the corner, sponsored by the RIT Indian Conference Center. Looks like we call the timeout. And we're going to have a timeout on the field. Okay, so Harling, the captain of the Lancers, calls timeout. They know how important this set piece is. Oh, yeah, we gotta, we would like to go into the third quarter, or the fourth quarter with another goal on this. Uh... Absolutely, 135 to go here in the third quarter. Lancers up four to three. We'll take a quick break here on Lancers TV. When it's time to eat, make it a meal to remember with Salem's Hot Dogs. The Salem family has been perfecting premium meats for over 150 years with hot dogs that snap, satisfy, and fit your busy schedule. So whether you're catching up, winding down, eating in to save time, or simply hanging out, when it's time to get together, it's time for Salem's Hot Dogs. Find them at your favorite grocery store. Back from the timeout, Lancers will have a corner kick. So, Mark, what have they been working on, Lancers, for corner kicks? Um, you know, we have all kinds of different plays. Uh, let's see how they set this one up, and I can probably. Dan Renizzi will take it. Now, Schindler would normally take this. Let me see who's on the field right now. So, right Toby. now, here's the other one that would normally be on this. So, I'm thinking this is Tanner Bay is going to have a shot at this one, I'm thinking. Here's if if uh, Zidowitz was on the field, it would be him. Oh, no, they're going with Toby, I bet. Here's the corner. Silberto oh. wide of the market. Oh, now no. tends for a break. Coming forward is Flores, but Toby gets back. Flores with the shot. Saved by Maddock. Big save by Dan Maddock to keep it 4-3. to three. Toby racing back to, to stop that breakaway by Flores. 
the leading scorer for the risers. I'll tell you something. I mean, Flores probably could have had a better opportunity. He took himself so wide to take that angle. Here's Tavernese. Tavernese wow. goes down. Free kick. <laughs> and the coach says, oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, you know, at this point, you're going to complain about any little foul. You know, it's 4-3. It's a tight game. It's a foul, regardless the of how you look at it. Steve Montino was right there. It's a foul. I mean, free kick, and now Joey's saying, get the wall back 10 feet. Now it's 10 feet in, in yeah. indoor side. And Joey's saying that just so he can get his four and seconds just, back. And they walk back they just forward. Move forward. Tavernese in oh. and Henshin right there, perfect position. Flores now going downfield. Flores, one-timer saved by Maddock. Dan Maddock, the Secretary of Defense. Flores misses just wide. And he has really come alive here in this third quarter, has the leading score, Miguel Flores. Uh, well, uh, Dan Maddock is up for the challenge right now. You can see, look at Flores, you, he's just frustrated. And, and again, we make another bad pass. Oh! And they're saying there are too many men in the field. Nice save there, Mark. <laughs> yeah, I caught it with my gloves. <laughs> Kojakov has it stripped away as he zooms back to beat Brown to the ball, getting it back to Maddock. Now That's played up to the open ball. win. The tavern easy. Joey. Joey spinning. Cross field. Good ball. Oh! And it's the oh! On the run of play. Boyazzo! Eduardo Figueroa with his second goal of the game. Goal of Figueroa. With 14 seconds to go in the third quarter. And the Lancers go up 5-3. to three, Give Joey Tavernese the assist. What a ball what by a ball. Joey. And, and the bad mistake there by Arellano, who was marking Figueroa with the two number 13s, and Ed just beat him with the ball. I'll be honest with you, as a goalkeeper's standpoint, I think their goalie should have been standing a little bit farther out, and he could have probably intercepted that, but unfortunately for him, he was a little too deep. It was definitely a defensive error. That's a big goal for the Lancers. Oh, Here's huge. Harling, eight seconds ago. Harling will rip a shot, and Hench it with the save. Long throw out, and that will do it for the third quarter. And what a quarter for the Lancers. They get two goals. One on a mistake by the risers, a gift give to Silberto goal, and there's the beautiful ball. Figueroa with his second goal of the game. If you look where the goalkeeper's standing, I mean, he is very deep inside his goal. Joey's not, you know, no Joey, he's not dangerous from far out. Like, he's not going to shoot from out there. Step up a little bit, and I think he could have intercepted that pass. Instead, it goes through the goal box, which it should never do. So Figueroa, graduate of Freddie Thomas. I don't believe that school even exists anymore. I'm not even sure if it exists anymore. It's a city school. It could be a prison for all I know. I don't know. <laughs> Went to Potsdam, he's in the Potsdam University Hall of Fame, a Suniac All-Decade team member. And he's given the Lancers a 5-3 lead after three quarters. We'll be back with a fourth next on Lancers TV. As if you don't already have enough on your mind, I'm sure you don't want to worry about the stress of car shopping. That's why at Eyed Honda, we don't lure you in with a misleading low payment, only to disappoint you with bad news when you get here and have you find out that there's thousands of dollars hidden down in the fine print. At Eyed Honda, we're upfront right from the start, so your car buying process can be easy, honest, and even fun. So if you're in the market for a vehicle, come visit us at Eyed Honda. We'd love to earn your business.
team on the field right now. Yes, they do. The Lancers do, and they lead it five to three. There's the goal again. What Hit a goal! goal. Team and shots were 10-10 in that third quarter. Six saves for Maddock. Wow, Coach, Coach Kopp was already at the goal line before we even kicked off. <laughs> we'll try that again. Yeah, we'll give it another shot. Two saves for Hanchett. So 14 overall for Maddock, seven for Hanchett. And we start the fourth quarter. So a great defensive play by Cody Loss again. Harling playing it back. Zitowitz right in front of us to Toby. Look at Toby's patience. His teammate the there, Steve Merker, both from Utica City. Matt will come a bit out of his goal and play it square for Toby. Toby long ball up field. And they're gonna call three a three-line pass. And Toby says he was Toby says he was over the line. Yeah, he was definitely a three-line pass. It's a mistake by the Lancers. Chance here for Muskegon to pull a goal back. Yeah, it's unfortunate, you know, I mean, the dotted it's, line is not helping any, but it was definitely a three lines. Hill can rip it from here. He does so right into Harling. Wall does its job. Yeah, that's put him under. Here's Pill again. Pill coming forward, looks to rip again, and it's blocked. Played the corner, Alaya. And Lancers win possession, Harling. See if Lancers could get a good goal while Journey's playing. <laughs> Should have got it when the Bee Gees are playing. Yeah, all right. Gomez playing it up for Alaya. He has a goal on the game. Alaya chips the ball and it goes off ahead and so into Zidowitz, the corner. Right? Zidowitz head down the far corner. Uh, going down. Is Finn, right? And it's cleared away. Come the Lancers. Silberto. Silberto right now with a game winning goal for the Lancers. That's a dangerous ball. Wow. Finn back for Toby. Lancers are playing nice play. dangerous back there. Zidowitz. And he'll just play the ball oh, and then another, another poor passes. But again, Finn with a nice interception. And Finn just gets thrown down. That should be a card. That's got to be a card, and it is. Elia oh, nice. lost his cool Finn, and threw Finn, Finn down. Earned the, Finn made him give the blue card. If you watch this again, Finn just totally sold the card. And coach, we hope watch you, this. Hope you didn't we hear watch. that. Look at, look at. We'll see. Well. <laughs> Finn sold it. We'll see if we get a makeup call. So that blue card, by the way, is brought to you by Roxana Nails. Call 880-2523. For all you ladies out there. There it is. Look at August Finn. Let's get the crowd going. And now Lance with their first power play of the game. They were two for two last night. This power play brought to you by Bill Gray's, home of the world's greatest cheeseburger. And thank you, Soccer Sam, for my Bill Gray's gift card. I'll be looking forward to getting a world's greatest cheeseburger and the best French fries in Rochester. Tanner Bay back to Tavernese. A goal here would really be a lift for the Lancers. Built by three. Tavernese to Harling. Down for Bay. Toby back to Harling. Lancers playing. Looking for the opening here. Harling back to Tavernese. Uh, they're probably going to find Kochikov soon. They're looking for him in the corner. Make room for a shot. Here's Harling again. Tavernese. Will he rip it? Will he rip it? No, he won't. See how wide they're forming this. And they're keeping them spread out. They're going to wait for the right moment. They'll kill the whole two minutes. About a minute. Care. About a minute gone in the power play. Harling for Tavernese. Lancers want the one shot that's going to give them the goal. There's there it is. Let's go. Let's go. That's the one. What great patience by the Rochester Lancers. Yeah, they've been working on it in practice. You know, and again, like I said, you just keep working it around the wheel. Keep working around the horn and then, you know, open it up. I mean, Kochikov's going to give those chances. He's going to put them in. I mean, you see side netting. There's no chance for any goalkeeper to save that. Not even you? Um, not even me. Here's not Harling. I think Harling's going to get the assist on this. Kochikov, that's just a I mean, shot. Pancho is glued to, his, glued to his line. No chance at yeah, all. I mean, that's just a great finish placement. Harling gets the assist. That's his... Sixth assist of the year, team leading eighth goal for Vadim Kojikov. Lancers up six to three with 12 minutes to go in the fourth quarter. The Lancers just got to keep pressing now and don't let up, you know, keep doing your job. Downfield, Schmidt running onto it, but it goes back to Dan Maddock. And Maddock, Maddock has played a great game today for the Lancers. He really has. has the 
Jacob Mitchell, the leading goal Cooper in the MASL 2, is given the night off by Coach Schindler. Maddock is doing his job, the veteran. Yeah, he's definitely uh, you know, doing, doing well. You know, he hasn't been tested too badly today. He's going he's gonna to turn the big 3-0 in, in a couple weeks. Yeah, well, he better enjoy it. I mean, I'm up in the 50s now, so. No, I got you beat. Not by much. No, you look good for your age. You don't know how old I am. I don't want to know how. <laughs> you look good for your age, no matter what. No, thank you. There's O'Keefe, there's Muskegon now. Possessing the ball, back to Pill. Now, last night, the, the risers did not pull the goalie. Tavern easy. Wide open on the side. Shot in. Goal! Oh! Figueroa with the hat trick for the Lancers. And it's seven to three. Well deserved hat trick for Figueroa. He is playing really well and finishing his chances. Congratulations, son. Wow. That, he didn't even play yesterday for the Lancers, but with Matt Sawagid not in the lineup tonight, Jonathan Cohen, Matt D'Amico, Tomas Nagy, and that's just great. Look at that ball from Tavernese. Right, lays it right out, and Figueroa, far, far post, 7-3. to three. Lancers lead it. They match their goal scoring from the last game. And we have a timeout called. We'll take a timeout well, here. we got a card coming out. Here's your and card. Yellow, yellow card, card to the for coach. the coach. Descent. Yes, that's what it's called. We'll take a break here on Lancers TV. Lancers up 7-3 to three on Mesquite. As if you don't already have enough on your mind, I'm sure you don't want to worry about the stress of car shopping. That's why at Eyed Honda, we don't lure you in with a misleading low payment, only to disappoint you with bad news when you get here and have you find out that there's thousands of dollars hidden down in the fine print. At Eyed Honda, we're upfront right from the start, so your car buying process can be easy, honest, and even fun. So if you're in the market for a vehicle, come visit us at Eyed Honda. We'd love to earn your business. Lanches up seven to three here at the unique boutique arena at the Ide Family Field here at the Rochester Regional Health Total Sports Experience in East Rochester. I want to thank our Lanches TV producer, Joel Balthazar, for doing a fantastic job. Hope you're enjoying all the pictures and video here tonight as the Lancers look to move into first place in the North Division, and they'll do so if they hold on to this lead. Long pass forward, comes off of Schmidt, taken by Alaya. He has he's had a good weekend. He has a goal in each game. Yeah, I mean, you know, to score a goal against his defense is, is something on its own. So, yeah, he's having a, he's having himself a good weekend. Hanschick comes out of his goal. we will play it long into the corner. It's a great ball. There's Alaya again, laying it back. Flores, and it's cleared away, but Flores gets it back. Flores' shot is blocked. Let me tell you something. Tanner yeah. Bay with a great block. I mean, he was, that was on net. You know, I'm sure Dan Maddox was up for the task, but that's well, a great block. Lancers giving up their bodies on these block shots. And, and Muskegon, too. We got to say, these, these guys are extremely courageous and brave. I could never do that. When I played indoor soccer, I just wanted to score goals because I gave up after one year of playing goalie. Tanner Bay just wide of the mark. Yeah, I mean, you got to sacrifice your body, and, and the Lancers know what's at stake. You know, they know they need these victories, so they're doing everything they can to get them. Harling tried to get it, and Lancers need to get back here. Could be a two on one, but Tanner Bay gets back to Mark Flores. Flores playing it back. Alaya and Gomez once again. 9.41 to go. Lancers up 7 to 3 on Muskegon. They won last night 7 to 2. Gomez faces a brick wall and has to go all the way back. Yeah, he's, he's facing Joey. Joey's played against the best. He knows what's up. There's Bill. Then you beat Joey and you turn into Kochikov. I don't know what's worse. I don't know. Far side for Alaya. Alaya for Edwards right in front of us. Good possession by Muskegon, but not really generating much. There's a chance here, though. Edwards turning. Pass was from, just a little off the mark in the front of the box. Flores wanted to do a volley there, I think, or a scissor kick, like Bavard did today for Bayern Munich. What a goal that was. I missed it, unfortunately. That was a great goal. Great. Sidowitz, and it's taken down, no call. 
Flores with the shot and Maddock right there. That was a, that that's was a, a tough knuckler. save. That was a knuckler. It's a very tough save. It was a short hop knuckler and it well could have gone anywhere. And there was a player right on the doorstep for Muskegon. And Here's Gomez. Ball away. Gomez with the shot way wide. Ayala across the face of goal and Maddock will grab it. 8.30 to go. Lancers up 7 to 3. Lancers change on the fly. Downfield for Siliberto. He still has the game winning goal at this point. Lancers have outscored Muskegon 4 0 in the second half. Just what they did last night, too. They, it was the fourth quarter where they had three goals to break the game open. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh... That's a nice ball there. Brown off the wall. Gomez tries the volley and goes a little high. Yeah, they're, they're trying to do anything they can to put the ball on that. I mean, just keep control of it. Just work the ball around and, you know, goals will come. You still got plenty of time. Eight minutes is a long time to score four goals at indoor. It certainly is. Maddox will throw downfield. Comes off ahead and they bounce to Henchett. Aiden Henchett from the University of Northwestern in St. Paul, Minnesota. Now, I'm not sure if this is their game plan when Danny's getting the ball as you just throw it down the field, but right now we've thrown three or four and we've given up the ball. I think we need to get back to holding on to the ball and containing. O'Keefe is forced all the way back by Domenico Vitali. We get some good suits for him. He's a tailor in Syracuse if you're out that way. Giovanni's. Giovanni. And here's O'Keefe. Good cycling here by the risers. Downfield and taken away by Darren Toby. He'll play it back for Maddock. Has to wow. take a step there and did get it away. Could have been a little dangerous. Now Lance has a chance to break here. Oh, August Finn. Good. Finn loops it off the wall to Andre the Giant Demidev. And back to Darren Toby. Merker, his teammate from Utica City, right in front of him. Kojakov. Kojakov, nice Great ball, ball. Wow. to Darren Toby. Toby steps around one, but Merker takes it away from him. I'm sure you'll hear about that in practice. Well, Figueroa almost took a steal, would have been on a break. Schmidt to O'Keefe. Shawish with the shot, and it's gonna be a first corner of the game for the risers. But first we'll have immediate timeout with 6.45 to go in the fourth quarter. Lancers looking for first place in the North Division, lead it seven to three over Muskegon on Lancers TV. on Lancers TV in this fourth quarter brought to you by Salvatore's Rochester style pizza. Shout out with me, Salvatore's.com. And it's a corner for the risers. They'd love to get a goal here to get back into this game. Alaya plays it back, shot in. Save by Maddock. Off Taylor Pill and off to the races. Goes Kojakov. Kojakov fighting one on two. And Gomez steals it away. Nice play by Alex Gomez. Alaya. We've seen a lot of the ball. Kojakov right. just did so much work behind the ball. Harling trying to play it forward, oh. but it's stolen away. Shot in, wide of the mark. By Flores, here comes Harling. Harling up for Luca Dodge. Boy, we great if the 17-year-old could score one here. But nice play as Hench is waiting for the ball to roll to him, and now he's going to play it up. And oh, does I not. can't believe that did not hit the ceiling at all. It did not, and off the wall, here's Merker. Merker off the wall, shot in, and a goal. And it's Alaya with his second goal of the game. And Alaya's giving Joey Tavernisi the business over that. I mean, I don't know what's going on, what kind of battle they're having, but. And again, that's a great goal off the wall in front. I mean, it, 
they've been trying to shoot everything from outside. It's not working. You might as well change it up, and that's a great goal. Merker, the experienced player, it came actually right off the oh. glass. Now Funny look, bounce there, actually. No, I think it went off of Jeremy Lonkow, to be honest with you. And it's seven to four. It's not over yet, folks. Mer again, Muskegon's their last game of the year. They're going to go all out, try to get something out of this game. Might need to play smart, keep possession, and walk away with the very important three points. Coach Akoff. And, and Muskegon knows how good the Lancers are playing right now. So, they, they, you know, they... If they can't make the playoffs, they don't want anybody else making it. Demidev on his back heel. Oh, that was a handball. And he keeps possession. Tavernini has to run all the way back for it. Goalie can't touch it, of course, on a back pass. Tavernini oh, wow. gets bumped into the wall, and it's going to be a foul. Free kick for the Lancers. Joey's like, hey, you can't do that. This isn't hockey. No pads. No, Joey's actually yelling at the player that did it. Just, you know, let's just take our fouls. Let's get away. Joey's a professional. That's nothing for him. He can take that all day, and he'll just come back and score a goal. Kojakov! Oh, wow. what a save by Hatchet! As Kojakov rips it from outside, there would have been a three-point goal in the Let old days. Let me tell you something. If Kojakov puts that a little bit to the right more, that's a goal. I mean, that's just a Look great shot. shot. Look at this. Whammo. Thing. And a big save with the left hand. Corner for the Lancers. Oh, Tavernese's shot is blocked. That was another. That was, shot was definitely going to be on goal, too. Swawish is uh, the ref gets in the way. Tanner Bay gets it downfield. Kojakov again. Vadim holding it up with five minutes to go. Lancers up by three, seven to four. Kojakov back to Tavernese and back to Vadim again. From Moldova, then moved to Dublin and then came to the United States. And you can hear their coach screaming, You can't sit back. I mean, you have no time to sit back now. Harling nearly lost it, but runs back and gets a great hustle by the captain. Oh, uh, yeah, he's so quick on his feet when he wants Silberto. to be. Oh, he come on, Frankie. There's Frankie Silberto down in the corner. August Finn, he has a goal. And stolen away, here comes Brandon Edwards. And Edwards goes down, and referee says, nope. Finn wow. gets tripped, no call because it's a fan. It's, what a run Whoa. by Finn. Whoa. Finn all the way down, Finn, oh. beautiful pass, and oh. nobody there for the Lancers. Yeah, there's going to be a penalty. It's a two-minute penalty. And it's going to be a two-minute penalty. And that's going to be a, a power play for the Lancers with 4.14 to go. For anybody that doesn't know what just happened, it's just a delayed penalty. Uh, and they keep playing until the ball is dead. I think that was, I think it was at Schmidt with the. And I'm going to tell you, I mean, I don't know if you just saw his face, Schmidt. but Finn was laughing the whole time. I think it's on Schmidt is the blue card. So that's going to be for an elbow. So that is a blue card, which is brought to you by Rochester Regional Health, our sponsor here at the Unique Boutique Arena. And now another Lancers power play. They're one for one in the game. And this power play brought to you by Donuts Delight, Empire Culver, and the new location at Run West Ridge Road. Best donuts in town. Yeah, not the time you want to take a you know a penalty in two minutes. I mean, with four minutes left, these guys are just going to hold the ball. And once again, they're going to keep working the ball until you can't work it anymore. Look at this. And that, the skiing coming out to challenge here. They have no choice. They have to come at him. The Lancers looking to get somebody in behind here, potentially. Here's Harling. Harling down in the corner. Here's Kojakov. Back outside for Tavernese. Lancers spreading the field. Darren Toby. Darren Toby down in the corner. Back outside. Harling with the shot. Oh. Right in front is Toby. No chance for a shot Toby there. Toby with a great defensive move, I think. Tanner Bay upfield. To the open wing, Cavernese. Wow, two up. guys on him, and he's... Toby. Toby spinning, holding the ball. Back to Tavernese. Cody Finn. Loss is really working here. I mean, I'm, I'm amazed that he's still able to... I mean, he is working. Look at him working. He's the only player working on the team. Just over a minute to go in the power play. Tavernese. Joey with the shot off the wall. Cleared away by Muskegon. No, let it roll. And Loss is saying, somebody get hot here. He's saying he was gassed. Yeah, he gave I mean, everything he had. That, that's just a veteran player right there. He knew. Toby back to Harling. Off the wall. Kojakov. Does he want to give a foul here? Down the corner. Breaks away. Here's Toby. 30 seconds to go on the power play. Shot in by Bay. Saved by Henchett. 
Merker playing upfield to the open wing. That should about kill off the power play. Maddock played upfield for Jeremy Lankow. Lankow letting it roll. Lankow, what a front play fit. by Jeremy. Shot in goal, goal for Tabernese! Joey Tabernese! That's a big goal. That makes it a four goal game again. That just yeah. might about do it. That should just about wrap it up. Let's see what uh, Muskegon does. Do they come at him with a sixth attacker? I let's, mean, let's check that goal out again. And Joe, you're in the right place at the right time. That's an Italian soccer goal right there. Oh, it's just, you know, look at the work by. Ball in. That's Finch. It came off of Finn, so Finn should get an assist on that. Yeah, but you know, let's just mention Jeremy Lankow is persistent. Ran down there. there. And sliding to get that ball across the goal with two guys open. That's just a great play by Jeremy Lankow. That's just a veteran running and, and giving everything he has again. Lancers averaging seven goals a game. They have eight. They're giving up 4.7 goals. And they're only giving up four. So one of the best defensive teams in the league. They don't score a lot of goals, unlike teams like Amarillo, who scored 11 a game. But again, you don't know about the competition in those other divisions. Listen, so. this is the toughest division there is. And, and to score eight goals on any team here, I don't care if it's Muskegon who's in last place. I mean, they're a quality team. To score eight goals in any game in this division and only give up four is to say something. Um, it's definitely a great defense out here, you know. And, and again, we're playing without Jake Schindler right now. That's it's a, you know, not only a, a great defensive player, but you know, the, the veteran on the field. And coming into the game for the Lancers, Alistair Farmer, his first appearance for the Lancers from around the Quait, veteran goalkeeper, great chances. Dan Maddock with a, a great game. So Farmer into the game. He is also a world-class chef as he well. He is. He's an unbelievable cook. Let me just tell you, Alistair Farmer has been playing with me for years. One year, he, when I first got signed, he said that, Mark, I'm coming for your job. Well, Alistair, you just took my job, and here you are, and I'm so proud of you. And this time, the Muskegon Risers do pull the goalie, playing six on five. O'Keefe wearing the orange pinny. That means he has all the rights of a goalie. Less than two minutes to go, Lancers up eight to four. If you know anything about Alistair Farmer, he gives and brings everything to practice every day, all the time. I, it's, it's the best thing for me to see is this guy out on the field. Now, according to Mark Mandel, Alistair will be going on the trip to Iowa next week, so it's good to get him some playing time. Shot in by Flores is blocked. I didn't hear that, actually. Well, maybe some breaking news. Oh, Finn now forward for Kojakov. He can take the shot from there if he can make room. Kojakov downfield off the wall. That would have been a, that would have been a Beckham esque like goal there. Yes, it would have. It was a great idea. Here's Pill downfield. Back to Pill again. Finn on him. Lancers facing a six on five with the extra man. And there is the extra man, O'Keefe. O'Keefe shot into the netting. Alistair with the save. Oh, sorry. No, we can't. I give know. Him I just. I, I was hoping. I was hoping. I, he used the force to guide that ball. Yeah, out of he play. did. Like I said, Alistair, if, if you know anything about soccer, Alistair Farmer looks just like Danny Walton. Yes, he does. I, I, I didn't catch that. 59 seconds to go. And now, again, the fifth, sixth attacker comes on. Shot in. And yes. a big save by Farmer. 51 seconds to go, so Farmer gets credit for a save. Yeah, I, Even though that might have been a header. We'll, we'll, we'll see it again eventually, but, yeah, I mean, there we go. Let's see. O'Keefe with the shot in. It's no, it's a, uh, blocked. It's it was a actually a save by I think it was Toby. It's going to be a corner and take it quickly. And nope. what? Referee says no. Nope, we're going to take it again. And we might be taking that again. But Vitaly to dive in front of a ball at an 8-4 game is just tells you what Rochester wants to do here and win this game. They want to win this very badly. Alayo in front blocked uh, off the wall. Shot in and a goal. That's a good goal. That's uh, Merker with the goal. Yeah, I mean, that's a good goal. Nothing Alex, Alistair can do. Elia with the assist at the 43 second mark, make it eight to five. Here's the scene again, Elia. Actually, Elia gets a second bite of the cherry off the wall and Merker with the header, which again, you don't see very often in No, you soccer. don't, and again, you know, nothing Alistair can do on that. It's just a great play and we just got to mark up better. Merker with the goal, that's his second goal of the season. Elia has a goal and assist on the game. So now they need to Actually, force two it. goals in this. They need to force it to the goalie. The goalie shouldn't be able to, uh, see. 
Tavernese just plays it up and does not go off the superstructure. Ah. Into the corner, 25 seconds to go. Harling is oh, going to hold the ball see if as they long find as he Joey can. wide open out here. Harling loses possession. Here comes Gomez. 15 seconds ago, Gomez upfield, goes into the corner. Toby is going to clear it out, and he does. Back to O'Keefe, 10 seconds left. Ranchers are going to win and go into first place wow. in the league. Merker trying to turn for a shot. Nice play by Toby to take it away. And that's, that's going to do it. it from the unique boutique arena at the Eyde Family Field here at the Rochester Regional Health Total Sports Experience in East Rochester. The Rochester Lancers defeat the Muskegon Risers by a score of 8-5 to five and have moved into first place in the Northern Division at least for today, because tomorrow Iowa plays Iowa, and if the Demon Hawks win, they'll move back into first place. But for tonight, the Lancers can enjoy first place, Mark. Yeah, any way you look at it, though, even if even if they win tomorrow and they go in first place, I mean, Rochester has the better record. They're just down by a couple goals. So, I mean, it's still a, you know, first place is first place. You know, a couple you, of games, actually. Yeah. A lot of games, actually. Yeah. So, it's in, you know, again, it is it is what it is. They don't really care about being in first place right now. They just care about getting the victories and make it into the playoffs. So. We go by every day, game by game. Lancers with the eight to five victory. We'll go over all the final stats in just a minute, but of course we'll go to Kayla Clark Kent for the final interviews. By the way, other games going on in the league. Wichita way ahead of New Mexico, 11 to three. So it's like they'll continue to potentially be in a playoff position. No report on the Chihuahua Savage and CD Baja as of yet. But let's go now down to the field. And we will go to the one and only Kayla Clark Ken as the Lancers celebrate an eight to five victory over the Muskegon Risers. And Kayla is actually not ready yet, so we'll talk to Mark. And a shake oh, of the hand from Dom Domenico, Domenico Vitale. If you need a suit, that's where to get it. That's right. Mark, the players have got to be very happy. And I'm sure Coach Schindler's happy, even though he's got a, 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 a ice pack on his ankle. Yeah, you know, Jake's going to be very happy. I mean, these guys, uh, I don't think they had the best first half. They know it, and they came out in the second half knowing that they wanted the victory. So they, they came out and did what they needed to do to get it. Lancers were outshot 13-7 to in that fourth quarter. So just do some quick math here. Lancers had 34 shots, and the Risers had 35 shots. So the Risers actually outshot the Lancers 35-34. 16 saves for... Dan Maddock in the goal for Rochester. And for Muskegon, the keeper, Jake Aiden Hatchett, had eight saves on the game, one save in the fourth quarter. There was Figueroa's goal. Figueroa what a, what a with a ball from Joey Tavernese. You don't find many better passes than that. Right across the goal crease, Figueroa doesn't make any mistakes. And, and there's, your, there's your man of the match right there. Eduardo Figueroa, the Rochester Lancers, with a hat trick, his first hat trick of the season and of his career, I think. It gives him five goals on the season. He only had two all season and three tonight. And they needed them, Mark, because yeah. again, the Lancers were a little bit down at the forward position. Here's his goal here. Beautiful pass from Tavernese. Yeah, as, you know, he only had two goals coming up into this game, but you know, he's he's also a new, he's a rookie, he's learning, and you can see where his, he's getting in positions that are different than when he was a couple weeks ago. So you're going to probably see a lot more goals out of Figueroa. He came up big tonight as the Lancers win it 8-5. to five. So let's see. the. We'll check in who the game-winning goal. Actually, it's the goal number six for the Lancers. I'll have to check actually who scored goal number six. But here we go to Kayla Clark Kent. Lancers H. I'm Kayla Clark Kent, and I am here for your Lancers post-game interviews. First, with Alistair Farmer. Alistair, I am so excited for you. You have been a part of our organization for so long, and you got to make your debut tonight. How does it feel? It feels great. Um, I love these guys. I love supporting our city. Um, it, it means the world to me, honestly. You've been here for years training and just supporting this team. So to see you out here, probably for you, is a dream come true. Also a dream come true for me. I'm so happy for you. Thank you for your years of support of our organization. Congratulations on signing your contract, and we can't wait to see what's to come. Thank you very much, and love the fans. Thank you guys for your support. We couldn't do it without you. So have a, have a great uh, night. Be safe. Yep. 
Eduardo being escorted. He is our player of the game. He deserves an escort. A hat trick tonight. First year with the Lancers. Tell me how you are feeling right now. Uh, honestly, I don't know. I mean, that, that, that felt good, though. But, I mean, I did the easy part. Uh, Joey gave me two good assists. So, um, I mean, I just did the easy part, put the ball in the back of the net, you know? Well, we thought that you looked great doing it, and we can't wait to see more of you. Um, what does it feel like to be a Lancer this season? Uh, I mean, it feels good. Uh, I mean, ever since I was a kid, uh, I would go to Lancer and Rhino's game, so uh, seeing soccer here in Rochester and then finally being a part of it, uh, it's a blessing. Uh, I think Jake and Joey are doing a great job uh, getting the guys all together. Uh, good group of guys, and happy to be playing with them. All right, we'll rest up because we have four more really crucial games, and we're going to need... You. <laughs> there, <hopefully. laughs> yeah, we're gonna need you. We're gonna need you there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I was gonna say healthy, but that, that is right. It is healthy. And now Andre. I was gonna say fresh and healthy, just so you guys know. But then I was like, wait, is he supposed to be healthy? But he is. Um, Andre, the giant, great game out there tonight. Um, we didn't see you last weekend, so we're so happy to have you back. And again, another player that's been with us for years, a local player, which is so important to us. That's our whole goal is like to grow you guys here in Rochester and give you guys new opportunities. So just tell me how you're feeling. It feels good to be back. The atmosphere here is always amazing at home. Uh, we knew we had to grind out the result, and we knew they would give us a tough game. But in the end, we got the result we were looking for. Awesome. Well, thank you, and great game, Andre. Jake. I really botched that one, huh? It makes it real. <laughs> Jake, tonight, obviously, you left the game injured. Um, just can you give us first, tell us how you're feeling. Yeah, no, I'm feeling good. You know, it, it's going to be a little bit before I'm back on the field, but... You know, I, I trust in these guys. Uh, they all show up every day and work hard, um, and that showed how they responded tonight when I went out. You know, they, they battled the whole game, and, and they got the result that we get at home, you know, which is a win. That's awesome. And now with four games left in the season, obviously playoffs are key right now, and we're hoping to get there. So what needs to happen? You know, I, everybody needs to show up. There's going to be... Um, very difficult games coming up in Iowa. Um, both the Raptors and Demon Hawks are, you know, very experienced team. Um, we're going to have new faces, and everyone's going to have to step up and do a role. I, I, no one's going to be able to hide. Um, you know, we got 26 guys on our team, and I expect all 26 guys to contribute to our success. Well, thank you, Jake. We wish you guys all the best the rest of the season. We'll be back home March 24th and 25th. But thank you especially for your guidance for all these players. Every single one of them that comes up here to do an interview always says thank you to you and Joey for your leadership. And I think it's so awesome to have you guys at the forefront leading this team this year. Thank you. No, I, I, I love these guys. Uh, obviously, this is my first time coaching, so I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> but I, I'm just glad that the guys like me and, you know, they try and do what I ask them to do. Um, and I think that's why we're successful. Clearly, I don't know what I'm doing either, so it's okay. We're in this together. Thank you to all of our Lancer fans who joined us at the game today and for our many viewers who streamed on Lancers TV. We will see you back here on March 24th and 25th for our last Lancer Mania weekend against the Iowa Raptors. And we're back here on Lancers TV. Andrew Batiste, Lancers historian and the co-host of Soccer is a Kick in the Grass. Heard every Monday night at 6.30 on WYSL and live on the web at soccerisakickinthegrass.com with host, the legendary Joe Redcard Sirianni, the only trainer to be red-carded in an NASL match because he kicked the referee in the butt after a game against the Chicago Sting at Soldier Field. And also, of course, Michael Lewis is on with us, and he is the author of the brand-new book coming out very soon, Still Alive and Kicking. The story of the 21st century Rochester Lancers, and you can get his first book, Alive and Kicking, the incredible but true story of the Lancers, talking about the history of this team, going all the way back to its founding in 1963, all the way up through 1980, the last year of the NASL. The longest running soccer brand in North America is the Rochester Lancers, still going strong, thanks to everybody who, from Charlie Shiano and Pat Danolfo, Rudy Lepore, 
Patsy Frank, all the guys who originally started the team, and of course Sam, Zucker Sam Fantuzzo, who resurrected the team in 2011, the name, the brand, and we're so happy that we can wear this right here very yeah, this proudly. Is, this is a logo that, you know, I, I wear it very proudly. I've been here since 2011. I've, you know, I've watched the original Lancers. It, it's, it's, it's an amazing feeling to be a part of this organization. Lancers were led tonight by Joey Tavernese. He had four points, one goal and three assists. And on that free kick goal, the first goal for the Lancer they scored, actually they gave Tavernese the assist. He must have got a touch from Schindler that let Tanner Bay get that first goal off that set piece. Yeah, I mean, I, you must have got a touch. I missed it. You know, I mean, I don't think anybody's going to care, like, in the locker room who got what. Um, you know, as long as we got the result that we wanted and, you know, guys are finishing their chances, and that's what's most important. Eduardo Figueroa, the man of the match with three goals, the hat trick. August Finn had a goal and an assist. Alex Harling and Andre Demidev had assists. Frankie Siliberto, Tanner Bay, and the game-winning goal from Vadim Kozhikov to pace the Lancers. He had goal number six. For the risers, Steve Merker had a goal and two assists. Cesar Alayo had a, had a great weekend. A goal and assist tonight. He had a goal in the game yesterday. So good young player. Yeah, he definitely had a good weekend. He was definitely, uh, you know, someone to look out for. And, uh, you know, he made, you know, good with his opportunities that he had. Alex Gomez had two, goal, two assists. Miguel Flores had a much better game tonight than he did last night. He had two goals. Gives him 13 on the season. Colin O'Keefe had a goal for the risers as well for their total of five. So the Lancers now move to seven and one, one overtime win, giving them 20 points. And that puts them in first place in the North Division, two points ahead of Iowa Demon Hawks, who play the Iowa Raptors tomorrow afternoon. I'm sure the Lancers will be watching that game because those that's the teams they play next, Mark. Iowa Raptors next Saturday and Iowa Demon Hawks next Sunday. Yeah, they're, they're going to watch the games. They're going to, you know, do their homework. You know, like I said, we're going to have a different uh, lineup, I think, next week. Uh, now we're going to even have a bigger different. I think Jake might not be available from what he's saying. So, um, you know, they the guys definitely need to do their homework. Um, the, some of the newer guys that are coming in should, you know, watch the older games, watch the new games that are coming up. You know, know who you're covering. Know, know you know, know if they're right-footed, they're left-footed. And, you know, just make sure you do your homework and, and do what we ask of you. Definitely watch the games on the MASL2 networks. They'll be broadcasted back to Rochester. And then we're back here in two weeks as the Iowa Raptors come in. The Lancers could potentially clinch first place next weekend if they win both games and get a, a – actually, the Demon Hawks winning tomorrow would be a big help to them for, for that because then the Lancers play the last game. The Demon Hawks' last game is against the Lancers next Sunday. The 19th. Yeah, absolutely. And the Demon Hawks are definitely capable of beating them, too. So, you know, we'll see what happens. And, you know, it's going to be a good battle. Um, if you want to watch a good soccer game, that would be the one to watch. Local Derby. They both play in Cedar Rapids next year. When one of the teams moved to Des Moines. I'm not sure which one. I think it's the Demon Hawks moving to Des Moines. I next believe year. you're right as well. Um, but again, like I said, it'd be a great game to watch. I mean, both teams know what it's at stake. Um, so, so it's going to be a battle to see who can knock the other one out of the playoffs type thing. Absolutely. So two weeks, we'll be back here at the Unique Boutique Arena here at the TSE Total Sports Experience in East Rochester for the Lancers and the Iowa Raptors. And hopefully the following weekend will be playoffs, but it's still a little ways away. We'll find out, Mark, what happens. And I look forward to calling the games through in a couple weeks' time. Yeah, I'll definitely look forward to it. You know, and, uh, you know, if you're tuning in now, tune in a couple weeks from now because those could be the battle that knocks a team out or puts a team forward. Mark, thanks, and good luck with the team this next coming week in practice. Thank you very much. As our color commentator and Rochester Lancers goalkeeper coach, Mark Sotilli, also a Lancers Hall of Famer, by the way. You want to mention that? Thanks to our lots of people, of course. Lancers owner, Soccer Sam Fantuzzo, Lancers president and GM, Kayla Clark-Kent, executive producer of Lancers TV, Ashley Maria King, enjoying the warm weather while we freeze in the snow. Lancers coach Jake, Sch coach Jake Schindler, we wish him well and Hopefully he'll be able to be in the lineup very soon. Lancers TV producer Joe Balthazar with assistant Dante Salino and DJ Vela. Set up team, and what a great job they do. Rebecca Dodge, Chris Camilleri, and her crack staff putting this whole arena together in about an hour and a half's time. It's amazing. It's incredible. It is. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Lancers travel to Iowa next week and take on the Raptors. 7.30 Eastern time kickoff and the Demon Hawks of Iowa next Sunday at 3 p.m. kickoff. 
Our next broadcast of Rochester Lancers Soccer on Lancers TV, March 24th, Friday evening. Lancers face the Iowa Raptors, potentially a playoff berth on the line. Pre-game at 7.30, first kick at 7.45. Once again, the final score from our unique boutique arena at the Eide Family Field here at the Reg Rochester Regional Total Sports Experience in East Rochester. Rochester Lancers 8 and the Muskegon Risers 5. For Mark Sotelli, I'm Andrew Batisti. Have a good night, everyone. Good night.